hard to start, but foam turns fun into a work of art. Check it out. Tiny foam microbeads magically stick together and form to any shape you want. Now craft fancy foam to wear. Model creepy foam critters or build an erupting volcano of foam. Plus, mix and match colors for any design you can imagine. Create a stylish jewelry case or a funky foam base. Foam your pencils so they're cool or show some spirit at school. Make costume masks, even foam rainbow glass. Take foam outside and the fun will go on. Foam your bike, a scooter, a skateboard, your shoes. With foam in your hands, the fun never stops. Just ask anyone who foams, from parents to tots. Foam, it's fun you can feel. Tired of looking like a fool when your cakes aren't cool? And why do tiny cupcakes take so long to make? Get in the spotlight with Big Top Cupcake, the fast and easy way to make colossal cupcakes that are up to 25 times bigger. Everyone's face will light up when you make a king-size cupcake house. Grab your camera to remember those giant cupcakes your family makes together. It's so easy. Just fill with any cake mix, bake, and decorate. Wow, that jumbo cupcake looks amazing. Big Top's quick-release silicone is flexible and virtually nothing sticks, so a perfect cupcake pops out every time, making it the ultimate party activity. Mix and match delicious flavors like strawberry and chocolate. The possibilities are endless. Look, nothing's more thrilling than a chocolate filling. Made easy with our optional Magic Center insert. Fill Big Tops with pudding, mousse, gelatin, even your favorite ice cream. Tiny cupcakes won't do, but 25 times bigger feeds the whole crew. With Big Top, just fill, bake, and decorate. Plus, it's dishwasher safe. Store-bought cakes are so expensive. Metal cake molds stick and cost over $35. But you can join the show with Big Top Cupcake for $19.95. We'll even include this idea book free. Use the tips to make a silly clown face that's okay. sure to get a laugh. But we're not done. We'll give you these awesome animal cookie cutters to bake three-dimensional cookies. Make yummy lions or tasty elephants. A $20 value free. But call right now and as a bonus, we'll double your order. Just pay processing and handling. You get two Big Top Cupcakes, two idea books, and two 3D cookie cutters. A whopping $100 value for $19.95. Call or log on to get yours. With SpaghettiOs pasta, your mouth will really rock. Once you get some lips around us, you know you'll be in trouble. Spaghetti, oh, oh, oh. Where would your mouth dream about? Spaghetti, oh, oh, oh. Take it away. Whoa. Campbell SpaghettiOs. Oh, yeah. Now your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean to meet and learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there, all through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books. The publication is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations, plus games and puzzles. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special price of $19.95. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephant's issue as a gift. Plus, you'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers and the tiger poster. So order Zoo Books today and send learning and fun to a child you love. To order 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for $19.95, call 1-800-441-2400. When you call, we'll include the bonus elephant issue, stickers, and tiger poster with your order. Call 1-800-441-2400. You must be 18 years or older to call. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. You've had chef every night this week. But I love chef. Comme rien, de mes brumes et d'ombre vient frapper ton corps malade. What do you want for dinner? Chef Boy RD. Boy, this stuff is good.
Education is what I'm looking at. When I get a degree, I will make a bigger salary. So now I've got to see which college is right for me. I went on the internet and found Education Connection. I took some free tests to find out my direction. I'm taking my classes online, getting my degree on my own time. Education Connection matched me with the right Say hello to the pillow pets. Pillow pets are cute, huggable pets that pop open into full-size pillows. They're soft, they're cuddly, and they make perfect pillows. Pillow. Moms, your kids will absolutely love their pillow pets. You simply undo the hook and loop strap and the pet pops open into a full-size pillow. Just fold it up, reattach the hook and loop, and it's back to a cuddly animal. It's fun and easy. Playtime, sleep time, anytime. Kids of all ages love their pillow pets. There's a panda bear, a ladybug, a frog, a dog, a unicorn, a dolphin, a bumblebee, a monkey, and so many more. Everyone needs a pillow. Why not have a fun pillow? Pillow pets are great for travel. Look, PJs fit right inside. Perfect for the overnight trips to grandma's house. This is more than just another stuffed animal. This is a pillow that your child or grandchild will use every night. It's a pet with a purpose. Every pillow pet is made of ultra soft, high quality chenille fabric. The heavy duty stitch ensures years of enjoyment and they're even machine washable pillow pets are so soft and huggable all it takes is one hug and your child or grandchild will fall in love with their pillow pet over a million kids are already enjoying their very own pillow pets every pillow pet is so cute and unique the hardest part is choosing which one to get go online to www.pillowpets.com to see the full selection of pillow pets if you have a birthday holiday or special occasion coming up pillow pets make the perfect twenty dollar gift imagine your child or grandchild's face when they get their pillow pet pillow pets come with a full 60 day money back guarantee so go online right now to www.pillowpets.com that's www www.pillowpets.com Adopt your pillow pet today. Here they come, screaming across the sky. It's lots and lots of jets and planes. The greatest collection of aviation DVDs we've ever offered. And for this special TV offer, you can get two DVDs for the price of one. You'll get to see big planes, little planes, soaring stunt and passenger planes, even planes that fly real low. Old planes, new planes, fast planes, slow planes, smoking planes, even planes at supersonic speeds. Plus much, much more when you order lots and lots of jets and planes. Each DVD is jam-packed with lots of high-flying close-up action. This special TV offer is not available in stores. Remember, you can get two DVDs over two hours of non-stop aviation action for the price of one. It's lots and lots of jets and planes. You can order now and receive a free bonus CD of jet plane songs. You must be 18 years old or to call 888-300-3455. Parents, call 888-300-3455. Satisfaction guaranteed. That's 888-300-3455 for lots of jets and planes. It's the Scooby-Doo Haunted House Game. Spin the spinner and move through the house with secret booby traps. Shaggy's been trapped. Watch out, Daphne. Good job, Scooby. Let's see who the ghost really is. The Scooby-Doo Haunted House Game. From the prehistoric past and the limitless future comes Robo-Raptor. Fluid biomechanical motion and three programmable behavior modes make him interactive, responsive, or unpredictable. Touch sensors in his head and tail make him powerfully interactive. Sonic sensors lock onto sound. Vision sensors see you. Take control of Robo-Raptor with a multifunction remote or let him roam free. Sensory awareness lets him feel and react with his environment. Friend or predator, you decide. Roboraptor, a fusion of technology and personality. Batteries not included from Wowie. Unleash the power of Roboreptile. Fiercely autonomous, Roboreptile claims his territory, stalking his prey with biomorphic bursts of speed, while his highly evolved vision system alerts him to danger. Part reptile, part technology, all added to Roboreptile. Trigger his sound sensors to lure him in and take command with the remote control. Feeding Roboreptile will tame him, but not for long. 
Robo Reptile a fusion of technology and personality. Batteries not included from Wowee. Wow. Wow. Oragel's safe to swallow, fluoride free, and has great flavors. Oragel, what moms want and kids love. Nerf. New from Nerf. The N Strike Recon CS6. The blaster you can customize for any mission. For night missions, equip the red spy light to spot hidden targets. For multi target missions, the six dark quick fire clip gives you extra firepower. And for long range missions, clip up the sight to nail your target. The End Strike Recon CS6, only from Nerf. Blaster comes to show, and other blasters sold separately. Batteries not included. Yeah, well, I'm the Doodle Bear. I come with pens for writing on. Notes and names and games, friends share and pass me on. And when they ask me which tattoo I love the best, I throw over my arms. It's rosy on my chest, because I'm the Doodle Bear, the original Doodle Bear. I love to doodle and doodle and doodle when there's no room for something new. Awesome machine and come out nice and clean because I'm the Doodle Bear. Doodle Bear comes in one of four different colors with washable doodle pens and tattoos. Each bear sold separately. Hey, Furby! Hey, Furby! Yeah? Show me a dance. Hey, Furby! Do? Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, Furby! What? Sing me a song. Me, no. Listen. With hey. new Furby, Ooh, nice. you never know what's going to happen. You just got to say, Hey, Furby! I love you. New Furby, each sold separately. Batteries not included. You can find more fun at Hasbro.com. Ask a parent first. Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. Only for Game Boy Advance. Rated E for everyone. Wow! Muzzy programs have been helping children learn languages for 20 years. Hola. Quibian. Hi, I'm David Ward. Muzzy is the number one language course for children in the world. Asua. Oh. There's never been a better time than right now to try Muzzy. To celebrate our anniversary, we'll send you all five original Muzzy languages in one program. And you can try Muzzy free. Love to fun. For the first time ever, five languages, Spanish, French, Italian, German, and English in one program at no extra cost. This is the biggest, most powerful Muzzy ever. Remember, kids are open to languages. It comes naturally. They don't see it as work. It's fun, and it all just happens. Kids love Muzzy. And with five languages in one, try Muzzy. Bing, bada, boom. And welcome, my friends, to a Tuesday stream. This is the, the soft launch of Companion Quest, our new Tuesday streams. So what you can expect from Companion Quest are, is going to be some of the, uh, the regulars, the people that you've seen on here a lot of the times. We're going to be bringing back the regulars, the people you guys love to see on here, to play a wider variety of a little bit shorter RPGs. This uh, show isn't gonna be constrained by whatever generation the main show is. Um, and we are really looking forward to it. It's gonna start proper the same week that Breath of Fire 3 starts, but we decided to, uh, you know, warm up the audience a little bit, get y'all ready for a little bit of that Tuesday viewership. We're gonna be doing this a Teleview radical dreamers now correct me if i'm wrong joey this is this is a uh, this is a, a straight prequel or is it a side story would you say to chrono cross uh it's sort of like almost an interquill uh, uh without spoilers it's almost like a parallel uh, alternate take on an event that happens like around the 20 percent mark mm -hmm. of chrono cross okay yeah so there's a scene in Chrono Cross that it's like a big uh, scenario, like the Viper Manor scenario. Mm -hmm. And this is basically that. So the, the little bit of history on this game is that uh, after Chrono Trigger finished, uh, what's his name? Uh, Masato Kato, the writer, uh, it was like, hey, there's still a couple things I wanted to do, loose ends I wanted to tie up or 
themes I wanted to f explore a little bit more. So shit happened. You're trying to green light a sequel. Didn't quite work right away. And they, they Square wanted to make a shorter turnaround game that wasn't as expensive as Chrono Trigger. So they developed for the Satella view, which if you don't know, it's basically like an add-on for the Super Famicom, the Japanese version of the Super Nintendo. And it connected to the internet and basically downloaded games and little uh, ROM carts. And so this is uh, this is paid DLC for Chrono Trigger. For Chrono Trigger, uh, only came out in in Japan. Obviously, that didn't come out here. Uh, so basically, what it happened, it was, this game was developed, I think, in like three or four months. The, the turnaround is insane for it. Oh wow! And they they were just trying to get a story out. Uh, from what I understand, Misato Kato d dealt with a lot of like turbulent times during the development of Chrono Trigger. So a lot of the themes are sort of like almost uh i don't know pessimistic not not cynical but a little bit uh pessimistic they're kind of darker there's a lot of chaos and existentialism in this that's why you see through that you see that through <laughs> line through chrono cross too but yeah this is this game is interesting because it's uh it's a sequel to chrono trigger and an interquill of chrono cross completely different style uh just a it's a vn Basically, it's a it's almost like a choose your own. What, what did you describe it as, Frank? A choose your own picture book or something? I, I forgot. What you someone said. else who said that, but oh, it's a choose your own adventure book with pictures. Yeah, yeah there that was go. John. Okay. Sorry, got sorry, him. sorry, John. It, yeah. Got him. So yeah, this is uh, like what's what's I think one of the coolest things about this game though is uh, so the soundtrack uh, Yasunori Yasunori Mitsuda who Love did Yasunori Mitsuda. Big, big fan he did chrono trigger and chrono cross um a lot of these tracks in this game were uh rearranged to be in chrono cross and they compositionally they're like pretty similar like the battle theme in chrono cross it's called gale i believe mm -hmm. um there's a 16-bit version of this of, of of that song in this it's very good i actually like that way more than cross um but yeah, that's all the background I got. I have a lot more lore to drop because I I'm a big Chrono slut, so. But that's well, all I got right now. So that's where CS came from, huh? And you're like, fuck, mm. man. What, can, what 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 can I create to have it the same uh, thing as as what I truly am a, a, a Chrono slut? And you're like, ah, it's mm -hmm. in skies. But yeah. Yes. Super suspicious. <laughs> I am joined, I see, I am here with my two boys, my co-hosts, lovely to see them, John and Joey, and also bringing the heat. If there was a uh, definition in the grand dictionary of uh, Super RPG Friends for fan favorite, it's Callie and Rachel. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight, you wonderful folks. How are you guys doing? And um, what have you guys played Radical Dreamers before? Let's talk a little bit about. I guess the we'll, we'll go into Chrono Cross at depth more on the main show. But have you guys played Radical Dreamers before? I've watched playthroughs of it because it wasn't exactly accessible um, until well, this version of it came out. So I've watched playthroughs of it. I know I know of it. Obviously, I've played more Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross than Radical Dreamers, but I'm 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 fairly aware of it. So hell yeah, oh, oh, Wes! It's not Thursday. What up, Armor <laughs> Wes? G squared. Good to see you guys. And also, Wes. Every time I get the chance to bring this up, I want to say it. But uh, in the in the words of the immortal Raul Julia, in the Street Fighter movie, oh it's my God. Tuesday. That's a that's a that's a that's a joke that we're gonna have to definitely. That's always gonna abuse. That should be the in the promo yeah. materials. It it feels like it should be a redeem <laughs> actually. It's yeah, a style guide. Yes, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's Writing a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly, what about you? What's your cro or radical radical dreamers uh, experience? Um, for a long time, radical dreamers was just like lore that like existed in the background. Like I I knew it kind of existed, and I knew that there was like uh, this mystical like Chrono Trigger like sequel that was out there that I didn't have enough like care or attention <laughs> to like uh, dig out. But then um, when the Chrono Cross remaster came out, 
uh, the first thing I did was play through as many of the like scenarios for Radical Dreamers as I could. Um, just in like preparation, because I, I had played Chrono Cross before when it came out originally. I don't think I finished it because I was a dumb little child, but um, I, I, I had some familiarity with it. But when I dove into Radical Dreamers, I like I felt like I had to get every ounce of like I don't know payoff out of it. So I like <laughs> Kelly wanted all the smoke. She's... I tore through all of the like um, ending guides and everything after doing my first playthrough blind. Well, you know when something is like when you're a fan of a franchise and something like that is kept from us from like a long time, mm -hmm. you just be like, "Ooh, devour!" Yes, you're like, oh. give me all of it. Uh, we Kelly, you got all the the uh, endings in this, then, right? There's like There's six. One... Or one ending I didn't get, and that's the ending that you have to get after you beat Chrono Cross. I never came back yeah. to watch that one. So that's that. I was actually going to bring that up. That's exclusive to this remaster, and uh, that's really interesting. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for people, but we'll spoil no. it when we play Chrono or yeah. Chrono Cross. There are some wacky endings in this game, like. It had such like a serious and like bleak sort of tone. And then some of these endings are just like whew, straight off course. Can't wait for that to potentially happen. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. John, what about you? Did you play Wedic with played Wheel? through a ROM translation way back when. And I didn't actually know there were multiple endings because at the time I didn't think there was like a walkthrough or anything that I was aware of. Yeah. So I'd only played it once. Um, and it was interesting, but it was a, a little, in some places, a little rough to get through. Lots of reading because I'm not a big visual novel guy. So it wasn't, it was a little difficult to hold my attention on occasion. I hear you. I think my visual novel experience is this and like 13 Sentinels, end of list. <laughs> <laughs> 13 my... Sentinels, mm, 13 Sentinels, eating good. Uh oh, mm. game, game dad, oh, Gordon, thank you for the game sub, dad. dude. Thank you for the gift Big sub, kiss. buddy. How you Big doing? Kiss. Big yes, kisses. As for visual novel experience, I just, uh, my response is stairs and ace attorney. <laughs> oh yeah, ace attorney. Uh, yeah, that was, I think, I think if, if I go all the way back, that's the first. Um, but real quick, one little interesting thing about this game is that um, I was mentioning this before the show, but Satella View emulation was kind of clunky until like 15 or so years ago. And I remember that was probably the first time I played it. It was it was in the mid 2000, like 2006 or so, 2005 maybe. Um, it was probably the first time people were able to play it like consistently. So... Yeah, that's all I got. I know it was a struggle playing that ROM. It was sometimes a little glitchy. I'm about to to quantum pedantic Vicer right now. You ready for this? <laughs> oh, you ready for that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If I connect to the Final Fantasy discourse in like a Chrono Trigger adjacent stream, do you think that's going to cause issues? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vicer. I, 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 okay, it was good. Okay, good, good, good bait. I just, it was so good. It was too, it was too hard not to to play to play the part. But no, five isn't the best. It's just one of my favorites. Um, that's all I got. Anything else, Frank, that you wanted to say before we go in? No, not really. I'm like I said, I haven't played this, so I'm excited to uh, give this bad boy a go. Hold on, actually, let me turn it on. Do one last thing. Over to gameplay. I randomly downloaded some game called Dave the Diver, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I Good, good old random fucking indie game. You like dive and catch fish at the start of it, and then at night you run a sushi restaurant. And I think that's neat. Mm. I think. I'd live that life. Right? I mean, come on. I'm just incredibly lazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we all play in here? Game, yeah, we're playing Radical Advisor. Play Radical Dreamers? <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Uh, we actually call it Read. We're reading Radical yeah. Dreamers. This is reading this, Radical Dreamers. <laughs> this is our first Let's Read, guys. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, Armor, I only played a smidge of it so far, but I'm excited to play more of it. So I, I will definitely. Guys, this, is, this is just to get um, get the kids the the AR points so they can get their prizes. 
Yes. <laughs> we get the, the little hackers in the AR book. Yeah, the little stickers on the uh the the button where the that you turn in at the Pizza Hut and you get a free personal pan pizza. <laughs> Highlight of childhood. Highlight of childhood. Peak experience. Mm -hmm. See, Kelly and I are in the same wavelength with this. <laughs> Poor twinsies. 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 And that is a, that is a stacked top five. Uh, Chocobo, damn. Damn, it's five number one, so I I give that kisses. Oh, no, so I'll be oh God, yeah, let me turn it down. No, 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 that's, that's me, that's me, but it might be. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, how is this the audio? Yeah, let us know, guys. Oh, I actually have to. The this last is... game we were doing was at a different uh, aspect ratio with Final Fantasy V. I gotta fix the box really quick oh, so, so so gordon you missed my my joey explanation but basically radical dreamers is an interquill of chrono cross it happens it's a d retelling of the viper manor sequence of chrono cross and it came out four years before chrono cross chrono cross for all intents and purposes uh chrono cross is a remake of radical dreamers uh armor nothing runs at 60 fps on switch <laughs> uh no it doesn't it, it, cc didn't even run 60 fps on native hardware uh i think it, it, it it's it, it dips uh, even on ps4 it was jotty also this is the Seeger rose uh chrono cross apparently <laughs> that's what this is this song i am just i'm just like like going like oh the music is pretty <laughs> Uh, they... Yeah, sorry, fucking having to fix this really quick. I was like, whoops. Ooh. I have to fix it again. Is, is it four by three once you get into it, Joey? Uh, I, I think it so. Yeah, I think oh, it, it, it is. It. Yeah, okay. It is. Well then. You no, know, it's okay. fine, Frank. Because there'll be bars. It's not that big of a deal, and we okay. know we got bars. Uh, so, Vicer, this music. Uh, there were like six tracks that were rearranged uh, for this collection that Yasunori Mitsuda uh, supervised. Um, is there yes. a black square on anyone else's? Yes, <laughs> there is. Yeah. Don't it's, worry. It's there momentarily. Ah. Uh. That's for the vibes. Strictly for the vibes. Strictly. I see now. I understand. Oh, oh. We're missing oh. words. We're missing words. It all, it all began. began. Oh, go for it. Oh, you, you, you go. You, you're the narrator. It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook, covered with mold, was a diary that belonged to someone. But I'm gonna keep up okay. on the conversation oh, now. Way. Years ago. This is Serge who's narrating I, this. Oh, I wonder if you still remember how we first met Actually, no, and our many good. adventures. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might seem like a dream. He said it's kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we ran on the way. Oh, wait, the, 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 Kelly, the, if this is a. Uh... <laughs> no, just, just read it, man. Just, the, just, assume, <laughs> just read the text. Gotta okay, it. I gotcha. I can still relieve the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like so and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid. Kid. <laughs> Okay, so it is Serge. We're good. We're good. All right. <laughs> uh, kid. Kid. What? Oh, fucking it. audio crack. Ooh, super zoom. <clears throat> Welcome to the ultra zoom. Uh, the Satala view did have like slightly higher visual fidelity than this uh, Super Nintendo. Hey, kid. Hey kid, hey, what you yo, doing? Hey kid, kid, you fucking. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Likewise, mate. You mess up, and I'm leaving you behind. You got that, Serge? This <laughs> golden Australian accent. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's I'm I'm uh yeah exactly what I'm channeling. Edge Maverick. <laughs> oh God, that's true. Come on, yeah, Magil, let's go. That bastard Lynx is gonna get what he deserves. 
Say your prayers. Not that that'll do you any good. <laughs> I feel I don't think that's Surge. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We're going to figure it out. Well, yeah. You got, the, you got the Diablo 1 uh, models there. Look at that. Well, it's pre-rendered, but they look like models. I don't know. Radical dreamers. Someone say it. I'm not going to even... Wait, Tresser Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Internet. Oh. Ra Radical Perfect. dreamers. Slash trader Internet. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, the E as the A is too correct. So, yeah, Lee would be more incorrect. Hey, thank you for the gift sub, F Moo. Very much. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. well, you're inner done. Inner done. It all began. Oh, I guess we got to read the. Oh, we're just going to let that. Yeah, we're going to let that spill. Oh, okay. I pressed the button. There we go. Yeah, you got to press. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, my God. All right, cool. This isn't okay. a fighting game. We have to press a button. No, Frank, don't you fuck it. Frank? 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 Frank! Frank, don't you, Frank, don't you even there fucking you know. think about that, Frank. Don't, don't Frank, get the Frank, thought out of your head. Frank. Banish the thought, Frank! Frank, Left. Frank, banish it. <laughs> nay, nay, banish it, Frank. Nay, banish Lust, Frank! Cock and balls? Don't you fucking name it cock and balls, Frank. How? <laughs> Fuck, how do I spell his last name? Fuck. Uh, t, t a t a k n. Uh, K. That's all. All I got. Surge tan. Hit surge right. tan. Uh, yo, I hit, I, I hit the beach out there. And I just got a sick surge tan. When he's uh, when he's a weeb, he's surge chan. Oh no, I forgot how to turn off the auto. There we go. Okay. okay. All right. Oh shit, okay, let me let me catch up here on chat really. Ooh, gift train sub? I think that's a great idea. Mine cock and ball six trader is getting a new update. <laughs> Auto controls, so you don't even need to play the game. Sergi Poo! <laughs> Not a true fan of so uh, it's true. It's just a silly little name for a silly little game. Joey Chan, oh my god. Lately <laughs> Dreamy's I'm a terrible fan. You've played more than I did, so Radical yeah, Dreamer but... then trans. <laughs> Surge tanking. Surge tanking. Tanking. The old lady's tip-off is right on the money. The counterspell and the burial around the outer walls could have done a real number on us. Kids playing right. unadored braid flicked back and forth across her shoulders as she walked. We, I guess that's just Surge's voice. All right, we're, we'll figure this out. We're going to get yeah, there. Yeah, we're going right. to figure it out. We yeah. just got to pick it up a little bit. We picked our way through the elaborate lattice of the manor's magic shields, moving in closer and closer to Lord Link's stronghold. There were three of us. Kid, Magil, and me. Magil. Magil. I guess Magil. it must I'm like, this must have been three years already since I first met Kid. Back then, I was just a wandering musician, traveling wherever my feet would take me, and wherever a few tunes would pay for a warm bed. He was in the Outlands, in a town called Red Gioro, where we first ran across one another. And since then, she dragged me along on a whole bunch of adventures. And misadventures, too. Oh, I can't and that is this, friendship. man. I have to get so close. It's a gangster graffiti game. Uh, Frank, oh you stupid way, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid. <clears throat> she was a thief. And not just any thief. She was a few months shy of 17, already renowned as one of the realm's greatest. What's more, she was achingly beautiful, stylish, a joy to be around, and a dab hand at capsaic cooking, or so she liked to claim. The truth was a little different. Those bandits with hearts of gold you hear about in stories, the one who steal from the rich and give it to the poor, yeah, that wasn't kid style. She was short-tempered, prone to lying, bossy, and obsessed with money, and rarely did she care to listen to a single word anyone said to her. But she wasn't all bad. And God help, help her if you disrespected her, his queen. Don't you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> maybe. Sometimes. Well, she had her moments. <laughs> Diet MVC3, yeah. <laughs> I, I glanced over my shoulder to see a shadow hovering behind us, blending into the darkness like smoke. Is it Magil or Maggle? Magil. Magil. Or Majel. 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 Yeah. Also mm. known as Majel the Shade. He was Kid's partner, but even after three years, I still knew hardly anything about him. All I knew Miguel. was... Miguel. 
Miguel. <laughs> Miguel. <laughs> All I knew he was around 30 years old and not much of a talker, but he was one heck of a mage. I heard that he and Kid had started working together way before I met her. He always covered the top half of his face with a mask, and I've never seen what he looks like underneath. He was a man so mysterious that it sometimes seemed like he was an interloper from another world! Ooh. It was like Kid was ex was exactly big on details about her past, but Magil? Majel? Majel? Welcome to the, to the oh, Joey yeah. Zone! Miguel. Miguel. He might as well have a have had one. And Kid didn't seem like to know much about her partner in crime either. What kind of man he was, what kind of life he'd lived before, nothing. You might ask how exactly I wound up being a part of this merry band. Well, it's well, complicated. Well, it's complicated. Yeah, well, it's, it's Chrono Cross good. Well, well it's complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so did, oh, you did, got Joey No, I can wrap my yeah, head yeah. around it. It's the fucking delay in the dash that makes the Strive Air Dash ass. That's what it is. <laughs> Ooh, that's well, it's just chunkier. But um, yeah. yeah so I was trying ass, to segue exactly. that into the Joey explanation. Uh, so why do why do people think Chronocrass? Uh, so Chronocrass. The Chronocrass <laughs> gets such a bad rap. It's because they're small brained, and as a kid, you wanted just a typical turn based system where you can just press A. And it's a fundamentally very different battle system than um, than Trigger. And I think people didn't like that. Also, Chrono Cross is. Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! No! Going across is uh is very how do I like I don't know it's 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 way less direct than trigger for sure across the board. Like oh, do, you still have, do you still have auto text going on, Frank? No. No, we were just kind of chatting over it okay. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. If, if we, we sit here and read every yeah. word, we're gonna die. This is gonna be die, seventeen yeah. Oh, yeah. episodes long. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure <laughs> that you didn't do something accidentally. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. mom. I'm I'm the mom of the stream, okay? <laughs> We'd be attacking some wildcats. Mm-hmm. Battles. Battles. Yeah. Battles. Strings of eager spittle. Wow, what a what a what a what a statement. Spittle. Oh, I thought the the, the fanfic stuff was DDoSed. What the hell? Dear God, Joseph. It's back up. Okay. It's back up. Oh, thanks, John. Been back up. Uh, attack. Attack, by the way, you oh, get shit. points. Waste. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Stab. A screech of pain. Oh, no. Yeah, this, bat this version of it's killer. Search tan <laughs> behind you. <clears throat> I attack. Well, he's coming right at me! He's coming, he's coming right, right at for me! Oh my god, we yeah. stabbed it. Dude, that, god, that, that, like, I want to like this song so much more than I do because it's a fucking weird time signature. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, hold on, let me think. Little stab. Nine eight. Oh wow! Into three four. I know. I know the yeah. middle part's three four, but yeah. I don't. I think the other part's nine eight. I think it is nine. Yeah, eight. yeah, yeah. It's nine eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just I'm sitting here counting it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's like every after like that's. I'm pretty sure when I take my like double shot of espresso in the morning, I just hear Gale for the next like two hours <laughs> while I'm typing at the computer at work. Like yeah, it's just yeah, bup, yeah. Bup, 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 <laughs> Imagine getting this game for Christmas and never trusting a video game ever again. Oh. Oh. Kid and Majel had either set the rest off with their tail between their legs or put paid to them once and for all. Ha. You're dreaming if you think a pack of flea mitten moggies is gonna keep us out, Lynx. Kid crossed her arms moggies? and flashed a triumphant grin. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said moggy. You said it. 
You said it. Meanwhile, I was panting heavily and it felt like my legs were about to give out from underneath me. I collapsed to my knees, overwhelmed by what I've just been through. Woo! I'd taken a few hits, but I was fine otherwise. A couple of scars to talk about later, maybe, but nothing that would stop me carrying on. Uh, John, I think that you are our lovely mage. Oh, wait, no, that was, I think I'm Majel. You're Majel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, well, boy, shit, I didn't. Uh, are you heard? <laughs> Magic looked never, down at me. His face uh, expressionless as I ever. never know what voice Joey's gonna do. <laughs> Joey doesn't know what voice he's gonna do. <laughs> no worries, Mac. He'll be right. He may be a whining. I, I, I don't think I can say that word either. <laughs> it'll take wings. more than you scratch to kill this one. Winging. He's fucking oh, winging. Fucking winging. <laughs> winging. <laughs> She was nothing if not sympathetic, but she was right. This was no time to be bemoaning my lot. We hadn't even reached the manor yet. I dabbled, dabbed my wo at my wounds with a tincture sink cloth and wrapped them with bandages and looked up at the other two. Just Sorry, I'm out. Please tell me that's an ending. Like right there. It's just like, all right, well, there's your first ending. No, oh, just okay. we're getting started. I think you want to choose. Of course, I figured. Yeah. Just it, funny that they're just right out there, like, all right, I got a scratch. I'm out of here. I'm not mad. I just think it's no. funny. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Then her eyes turned cold, like the cold glow of the moon in the sky. It's going to be a long night. I nodded, trying my hardest not to utterly lose myself in her pale blue eyes. Simpin! Yeah, absolute mm -hmm. simpin. All right, let's get this show back on the road. She turned away and marched off deeper into the trees without looking behind to see if me and Majel were following her. Majel, of course, was already right behind her, his unhurried gait making it seem as though nothing much had happened at all. I jumped back up to my feet to chase after them. I'd be in for even more trouble than I bargained for if I got separated from them. I, I, I think medial is the Florida pronunciation of menial. Medial. Medial. So uh, yeah, yeah. We we have we need a, like an auto translator for for the stream. Sorry, <laughs> did I miss something in the chat? Oh, what's your WC your water closet <laughs> level? Well, we're talking about wood cutting, you fucking plebeian. <laughs> this, is, this is rude <laughs> safe talk, bro. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. The dark forest. And fuck. <laughs> fuck. I don't play RuneScape. Fuck. 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 <laughs> the dark forest. Gotta scrim blow it now. Yeah. Sam, I'm gonna scrim blow yeah, yeah. RuneScape. Oh, no, God. you can't. For John, that's that's suicide, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might as well fall on my sword. No way. <laughs> I've not played RuneScape in years. <laughs> Oh God! That way, Rachel. Don't let the dark forces uh, coerce you. Man, I used to be a member in high school. Five dollars a month. <laughs> I got a slap on the wrist for three days. Damn it! What did you do, Frank? I bought it. A little, a little body. Oh, a little body. Said mm. to be imbued with an uncanny energy and possessed of a beauty and clarity that made a priceless treasure. This is the I think we should, <laughs> we should do like a, uh, it's like reading class in like elementary school where we have to. Everyone takes turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make sure you're paying attention and not like yeah. found out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, th this way we get to see who has disabilities. Countless thieves had tried to steal it and not one of them had come. <laughs> to succeed. I'm just gonna let that one go. I don't know, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, th here's mine. I can't see, nor did any of them escape the manor alive. And now it was our turn to try and sneak into this place of death. Led by a girl who had the ambition to make the impossible possible. A hunger for vengeance that drove her onward, and a desire for riches that could never be satisfied. 
Satisfied! As we passed through the tree-filled darkness, the shadows gave way at last, revealing the true extent of the vast mansion. It's so vast. I love our Minecraft server. Th this game is such a fucking mood, and I love every aspect yeah, of cool. it. It's so it sick. Is. <laughs> Finally, say your prayers, Lynx, because we're coming for you. Keeping to the overgrowth and the shadows of the trees, we made our way around the manor walls in search of a means of entry. I feel like this is a godspeed, you Black Emperor interlude, man. <laughs> Eventually, we came to a terrace overlooking the garden. I open my wallet, and it's full of blood. There's no secret cards nearby. The only thing that surrounded the manor was an uncanny stillness. My brain saw silliness. I just want you to know an yeah, uncanny dude, I, silliness. I mean, it, you saw it because it's, it's cucumber time. time. It's your cucumber time. <laughs> yeah. This lead us straight into the West Wing. Just as well. We don't have any business in the rest of the manor. Oh, shit. You're good. That's fine. Yeah. Like I said, we'll just do... Signals and that is up there. the dark building towering over us in the night. All right, then. What are we waiting for? With that kid made to vault over the railing of the terrace. I'm passing this to Rachel. I was going to... Yep, you bad beat me. The singular okay, brain I'm the cell. I'm, yep. I'm the narrator now. Yep. <laughs> Take it! I don't want it! And you don't want to be my- But you have a line, Joey. There's a major line. Yeah, there's a major line. What? Remember what- Remember what we're here for? Our main target's the vault and the frozen flame within it. So we focus on this above all else. Your vengeance is of secondary concern, agreed? <laughs> the, the change from the start of that fucking, like- <laughs> He was finding his way into he having no brain cells. Glancing yeah, over her shoulder, Kid replied with a reluctant. Yeah, yeah, don't get your panties in a twist. <laughs> but if we happen to run into him, I'm going to knock that. What the fuck is that word? Dudes. Drongo. <laughs> Drongo, yeah, yeah. And Drongo's block off, and neither you or anyone else is going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, eight, into three. No, four. dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Kid was going to get her way, whether we liked it or not. Let's go, boys. The night is young. She cleared the railing with a sprightly hop and vanished inside the manor. I glanced toward Miguel. Majel, whatever. <laughs> and <Yeah. Jonathan> <laughs> Miguel. <laughs> we followed Kid's lead, and we were, and were soon inside Lord Lynx's lair. The darkness swallowed us whole. Oh, that, sorry. It does have hops. It has hops, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, of course yeah. we have huge backlogs. A corridor stretched off to the left and right from the terrace. It seemed equally dark and chilly in both directions. Which way left. are we going? Left? left. Gotcha. You always go left, man. Left. It's okay, because the, the second part is four, and four is the worst game in the series, so... Oh, I would Lord. skip four, but I know Joey yeah, won't. Through so. it, yeah, I, I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, why'd that keep going? I didn't press I don't know. The we continued creeping cautiously down the corridor as Kid moved proudly and stealthily like a cat stalking its prey. While in the shadows, Majel followed, gliding swiftly and silently like a sinister breeze. We pressed on. Into the <laughs> oh, don't you have, what? like, certain amount of t a certain amount of time to make decisions in some... <laughs> We think so. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the follow, Roxas. How you doing? Welcome oh, hey, the there's show. the boy. There's That's the my... boy. Roxas and you are boxes. We took the corridor leading from the left-hand side of the terrace, eventually arriving at an intersection with some stairs. I just noticed some... that the little sprites jump up and down when someone follows. And I didn't <laughs> know that. I think that's well, kind of like... sick. Yeah, they like ba 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 ba. That is neat. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, I was fixing something. There we go. Okay. Oh, nice. 
The path to the right led down the stairs. The path to the left was a dark side passage. And the main corridor continued straight onward. Down the left. stairs. Down, down the, the stairs. stairs. Totally down the stairs. <laughs> we turned around. We must go deeper. I think Slowly I remember like the, the, the first case. like 40 minutes of this game pretty well. Descending uh, deeper into the blackness as we went. How, how do you have Roxas? Dude, I fucking, there's so many Twitch accounts and everything. Like, I get it. I juggle like three Twitch accounts and I always will like click on someone who we love their page on like Super RPG Friends and I'm not following them. And I'm like, son of a bitch. No, uh, don't you worry. Yeah, we're doing a uh, Radical Dreamers to uh, no sis guys. No, look at suspicious <laughs> no! no, you guys don't even. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you, Super RPG enemies. You motherfucker. You we're suspicious just, user. We're just trying to get awesome. the kids their AR points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the fucking the Pizza Hut pizza, guys. Come on. All right. At the bottom, the path split. The way to the left continued on to an atrium that resembled a sort of plaza, while the path to the right was a winding passageway that trailed off into the darkness. Right. Right now, right. so th this is something you're going to do a lot because this is like just a general like area of the game. So it's not like th these aren't necessarily making decis decisions so much as like actually exploring. That makes sense. Oh. <laughs> yeah, both of them are games. They're just VNs. Yeah. Different types of visual novels. Always go left unless you go right, Joey. <laughs> you go it? left and then you go right, so that way you're alt right. Oh my god. Which sorry, one? Which sorry. one? Sorry. 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 Go sorry. My bad. Yeah, you. Yeah, go inside. It smells like flowers. flowers. What could be bad? What oh. could go wrong here? It's fine. Eris. We found ourselves <laughs> in a tidy, welcoming room. <laughs> The knickknacks and curios dotted around the place seemed to be well loved. The stately desk and the cozy looking bed nearby, meanwhile, suggested the room's occupant was no stranger to luxury. Can you tell I read out loud a lot? A lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Though the room was richly furnished, somehow it s still felt awfully lonely. Kid took a quick look around before commenting. Yeah, it's Lynx's girl's room. A half-written letter on the desk and a teacup still warm suggested that the lady of the manor was still nearby. This is such nice spooky music. I'm not like, I, it I, is. it's, it's super atmospheric. Like, Dude, it's so good, dude. I, I, I swear <laughs> to God, I think that Chrono Cross uh, did not take as much advantage of that as it could have. It's such a good mood. Well, I mean, it's a horrible, miserable mood, but it's good at being mad. <laughs> yeah. Search the room, Frank. Search, Search the, the socks, Frank. Search the chest. Charming flowers. No, 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 no. The, 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 uh, cabinet. Drawer. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Kids seem to have the same impression and scan the room, clearly not expecting to find anything. The uh, the pre-rendered backgrounds are really cool. You can see the sprites moving around and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only item of note was a small antique box which bore a crest resembling a viper. Spooky. You said chest of drawers? Uh, chest of drawers. Yeah, sneak those drawers. <laughs> I slid down my finely veneered drawers. Took a steaming anyway. No, <laughs> you can poo. I cry. You know what, John? You're reading this now, because this is yep. that's a John's that's a turn. sexy John line. Yep. Mason Sequins greeted me in red, pinks, yellows, and a host of other vivid colors. A bounty of beautiful silk garments overflowed from within. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Chocobo. Thanks for stopping yeah, by, man, my friend. Yeah, man, take care. Thanks for hanging. Yeah. yeah heck yeah. yeah. Um, this Thursday is going to be the finale of uh, Sweet Code Sweet and Code. One. So, fucking. Okay, which this game well, right there? That game right there? Ooh, yeah. That baby. game right there. That Let's game right it. there. Okay, Little kid line. Hey. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you for the follow. The end of the Grammy voice saga. Oh, I think Grammy O. I thought he just called it the Grammy voice. The, it, it is, is Grammy. That's oh, for sure. God. Grimy. Dresses, eh? Give us a I look. Just, 
I've been just about to close the door again when oh, oops, sorry. we lost the line. <laughs> I've never won anything this posh in my life. The yeah. gown she'd picked out was cut simply but beautifully and was decorated with a pale floral pattern on a white background. Hmm. She held it up to her chest and took a gentle twirl around the room. She was as light on her feet as a woodland nymph. Honestly, this should be the Gremio voice. Yeah, it all sounds a little too questionably horny. She was yeah. as light on her feet as a woodland nymph. <laughs> Young master. Young master. With flower petals. Young master. And she held the hem just so, in that brief moment. You could almost have called her dainty. Questionable. Why did she pop three octaves, John? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted Gremio, so I was going for Gremio. Okay, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Stupid thing. Not exactly me, eh? <coughs> I wouldn't say that. Oh. I think it really suits you. Thanks, Frank. Oh, shut your gob, ass kisser. Her face turned. turned an angry red. Come on. We ain't got all night. The spell well and truly broken, she stomped out of the room. I, I really wish Kelly was Australian, but alas, we have to make do with what we have. I'm the passage outside the like aggressively Australian, you know, yeah. like continued to our left and right. The, the meme is no longer Kelly is British. The meme is Kelly is Australian. Where are we going, Joy? Uh, oh, we, I guess we went the right. right. Yeah, oh. we're going right. That's good. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm happy I picked the right thing. We went down the dark passageway, eventually finding ourselves at a sturdy looking, immaculately polished door. Kid sniffed the air. <coughs> Just as I thought, something stinks here. I reckon we found the beast's lair, lads. Yeah, In the on. darkness, go Kid's ahead. lips twisted into a grin that turned my blood cold. She vicious. Kid opened the door and slid inside. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. Secret. Ooh. It was Lynx's room, but he didn't seem to be around. Twin Peaks music. <laughs> and Bugger's gone garpered because he heard I was coming. There was something deeply unpleasant about the room. Definitely Twin Peaks. There's ever. trails fan art everywhere. No! Oh no. <laughs> there wasn't anything unusual about the furniture and fittings. Not how they looked or how they were made. But take as in a whole, it felt discordant. Was this a reflection of Lynx, a seemingly ordinary facade that had disturbing truth only could see? Let's see what we can find. Shit. Yeah, see, it's just, it, it's a bunch of Kaya oh. fan art, and they're like, oh, she's just so cute. I don't know what it is. The desk drawers, <laughs> the paintings on the wall, the vase on top of the side table. We left no stone unturned. They're just wrecking this man's room. <laughs> Poor Joey. Good. <laughs> There didn't seem to be anything suspicious. Ransacking the place. But as I scanned the room, something unusual caught my eye. There was a pedestal in one corner with a significant looking scarlet cloth drawn over it. It's a crystal ball. <laughs> me, me, yeah, me and Vice you don't want to leave those things uncovered. If the sun hits them the wrong way, you're going to burn your house down. Yep. I'm just yep, saying. Really. Mm -hmm. Me, me and Vicer were talking about the uh, the just the pivot of action games once like the Arkham and Assassin's Creed came out. We we're like, what if that never happened and we didn't have to deal with press triangle to counter combat with action games for a fucking hundred years? What's up, Turtle? Thanks for stopping by, homie. Happy Tuesday. I knocked the escape key. Did you really, Joey? Yeah, I don't know how that did that, dude. It was weird. Fuck. I don't want to talk about it. This went on for too long. Oh, man. It went on for too long. <laughs> it focuses on me. I don't like this anymore. I don't like this. I raised my hand towards it. Nope. Joey. Oh, there. Joey is going to uh, 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 Be careful what you touch in here. Warned, Matchell. I pulled my hand back timidly. Hey, what up, Drewby? This song is in uh, Chrono Cross as well. Oh yeah, Turtle, um, Turtle Doc, if you look underneath the stream, you could actually see a panel where you can customize whatever sprite you want to be. But the cloth flipped 
back with a flutter without me having laid a finger on it. Did that thing just move by itself? Exclaimed it. Kid, her eyes wide open with surprise. Uh, no, Kelly, that was Kid, not Sid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gripped by curiosity, we moved in to see what had been hiding. This is it was where a you large recruit. antique mirror. Yeah, this is where you recruit Ren, actually. Fuck off, man. Of an elaborately <laughs> decorated style I'd seen before. At it wasn't it the was... kind of thing you would normally seem out of place in an old manner like this. Yeah, you're and right. Yet... <laughs> Sorry. It's, yeah, and Lest. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a great cell, man. Yeah, Callie, thank God it wasn't mid, because then it would have killed the fucking pace in the game. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> little, little Final Fantasy joke for some of the people who get it. I, don't know. I get it. I'm not here for mid. Wait, something ain't right. The kid. Said mid. <laughs> Said mid. Meanwhile, I was captivated by the gaze of the statue of Venus reflected in the mirror. That just looked at you. Mm, Suddenly, the eyes of the statue shone with light. It's haunted. <laughs> Fuck. What is your desire? Frank, don't answer that question. Yeah. Frank, do not answer that question. Listen, it's me and Fahoozle have voice. an answer for you. <laughs> I know, man. I don't want to hear it. Smoky and husky. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the mirror. It's speaking. I stammered. Not a whispering mirror. <laughs> Muttered Meshul, as if he'd seen them a thousand times before. What's one of those? Kid gave Magical a quizzical glance. A magical mirror in which his spirit dwells. The spirit can move freely between us, its own and other mirrors, and will share its wisdom with those who ask. Sir, I'm literally blind and this text is so fucking small. Dude, I'm trying my best. <laughs> like, okay. Perhaps we should ask you something, you fucking dweeb. That's perfect, Drewby. <laughs> Uh, ask what about kid. Asking? Yeah, ask about okay. mid. Ask about mid. <laughs> I want to know about kids' past. Not if you want to leave this place alive, you bloody don't. Kid's face turned red with anger. Your wish is my command! Responded the mirror, ignoring kid who had grabbed me by the collar and was complaining misoverously. Huh. The image in the mirror rippled, and the reflection of the statues shook. Boundaries, Surge Tankian. Boundaries. And the mirror's surface grew dark. The fucking banger, bro. <laughs> oh. Blackness gave way to a scene in Regoria. Shadowy figures appeared one by one. There was a young man surrounded by several children. They were all dirty, their clothes ragged and worn. But they all laughed as they played together. And then the scene was drowned in flames, and a troop of armed men appeared. Those kids died. The men dragged the woman away, and the children vanished one by one into the inferno. No. The focus shifted to one of the children, a girl. She was standing with her back to the flames, her tears leaving tracks through the soot on her face, as she howled at the night sky. So this, like, actually does have background for Chrono Cross. The girl's right eye narrowed like a cat's. Stop it! Kid screamed. I can't believe those kids are fucking dead. <laughs> As I say, stop it. Let's just say crispy. stop it to that. <laughs> crispy. crispy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a. Uh, it's kind of actually in Cross too, because they talk talk about Pore. Yeah, they do talk about it, yeah. It, well, they they just mention it. It's like so unbelievably subtle, but it the. the the context is there, I think. Yeah. I think, like, if you pay attention to the background in one of the places, the story kind of comes through. Yeah. Th this is why I always suggest... I, th okay, so just... I'm not going to say what it is, but this game does actually spoil a huge thing in Chrono Cross, but, like, we're in this journey together. Uh, uh shit, hold on. We, we, uh... Can you do way, I think? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on a sec. Yeah, yeah, on your way. 
Go on your way. Okay. Ahead on your way. Ahead on, on our way. <laughs> That's exactly it, Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where we find out it is going to autoplay while Frank is gone and we're host. No. Good job. Uh, the, there's a little bit of Shala's theme in there. I think that's intentional. This music uh, there's is a, like so subtle that I'm just like, I'm just going to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, like all the little uh, ambient tracks. Mm -hmm. well, all the ambient music is reminding me of like mist and wandering around Ooh, yeah. on that island. Yeah, I'm spooky. Joey, how do you, can you say ambient again? Ambient? Did ambient. I say ambient? Fuck! Ambient. Fuck me. Ambient. Dude, every time ambient. I say that word, I have to like, I have to stop momentum of my sentence and check how I say it because it'll come out as ambient. Am. Ambient. 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 Yeah, I'm going to take like one or two ambience. Yeah, I'm going to take like one or two ambience and I'm going to go and burn a dart. <laughs> <laughs> burn a dart. No. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Frank, hold on one second. I'm just gonna go over there and burn a dart real fast, real quick. There. All right. Is that is that what Frank is doing, or is he pee pee? You he said he was getting like a refill. Yeah. Pissing, yeah. And, pissing, and burning a dart. He can. Hey, I'm gonna go over there and hack, hack a dart. It's gonna hack a dart. You gotta hydrate before you dehydrate. <laughs> I found the most pretentious hill. Wait, which which hill? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what hill too. Yeah, there's there's several. <laughs> hey Frank, did you go over there and burn the dirt? Oh uh, yeah, I burned the dirt real quick. I hacked, okay. hacked the dirt. You hacked the dirt? Alright. I decided Ambi ambiance. Oh uh, ambiance. ambiance. I always say that. I I have to stop what I'm saying and saying it in that exact mocking tone. Oh, which way are we uh, going? We we uh, we Stairs took the up. left lift. You wanted to take oh, the stairs up. Oh, let me squeeze right by you and go down the left. Yeah, passage. I'm gonna go squeeze right by you, by you and hack a dirt. <laughs> Real quick, there, Real bud. Real quick, there, bud. Take a quarter to the left and <laughs> leave us to a dead end. You you, you, hey, you take you the don't... side passage. Take the side take passage. Take the side passage there. Pack your derm. Pack your dirt. Hey, we're going to go back in dirt. <laughs> that's not, that's not a pack of derm. That's a dragon, <laughs> damn it. Pack your derm. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we just go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. inside right now. Go inside. Open the door. <laughs> Frank talking to Shiro. Into the room. All right, we slipped in. Let's study. So this is all just uh, flavor text for now. Yeah. You don't really have anything going on, right? Do, do, do. When is Gino going to show? Oh, he's coming. Library. When's Gino going to show up? I mean, it's Chrono Cross. You never know. Uh, the desk. The yes. Neatly arranged set of pens, ink bottles, and other writing. Things. Oh wait, Frank, could you do me a favor? Uh, save real fast. Oh, I think yeah. it, it's Y. I think on the control, I don't remember what it, what button it is. It's one of the buttons. There it there is. It is. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> the girl links adapted. Tasty hmm. text. Tasty text, love it. The, the, the woke media won't let you use the tasty phrase text. flavor text. So now it's tasty text. Okay. This isn't Smash Bros. Gino doesn't belong here. I, dude, I love, I love the, I know there's a typo, but I love the concept of calling Gino Jink, just to like, just to be disrespectful. I, you know what? I feel like in Chrono Cross, Surge should be Jink. I'm going to vote uh, for that now. And the worst part is the jank uh, discourse is going to continue. Uh, g g hide under the desk. Under the desk, yeah. Under the desk, quick. Then you can kick him right in the shit. <laughs> down. All right. It's more cramped than I thought it could be. Wow, what a situation these two have found themselves in. They're so close and exposed. 
So I'm wonder. So you're wondering how I got here? Well, yeah. it's well, a long story. story. That's actually like what this game is see, yeah, in see, relation this to fucking, Chrono Cross. This simp Ooh, over here. Yeah. These, oh, oh, kids' lips were right there. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Not being horny. No, the pink bow of her mouth was so perfectly shut formed. The fuck, she oh, said, man. Oh, shut the fuck oh, he's not yet, so oh, I, just, I tore my eyes away and squeezed them tightly shut. Hmm. Uh, st uh, being a kid simp is never okay. <laughs> no. In multiple levels, Kelly. Absolutely. I had so, to channel my inner trails dialogue there. Sorry. No. <laughs> Randy and Tio shit. I hate it. Oh, God. So, uh, so real quick, the uh, the fan translate. I actually, if you're interested in playing this game, don't play this version. Play the fan translation. Uh, the the language, the the translation is like a little bit more oh, direct. Uh, this is like it's like this version is like more like I don't know grammatically <laughs> and syntactically correct, but the fan <laughs> translation, uh, I think. It has way more nuance than this. Mm. Does anyone say bra in it? <laughs> no, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's the uh, fucking GeoFront translation. Yeah. I mean, th this uh, translation isn't this localization isn't bad, but it's not. Uh, I think the fan translation is a little bit a little better. Cool to hear poor I mentioned. It all depends on the Nation. localization team. Yeah, I mean, you're also, you know, you get a, uh, I, I'm guessing this game too probably needed to be, they probably had to like have somebody look o look it over and be like, well, this is going to make people go to sleep, make it a little spicier. Yeah. But the, the, the horny stuff is in the JP script too. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's implicit. All right. So we're going to go, going? uh, right back to the terrace. Yeah. The terrace. Hey, we're gonna go to the Terrace and burn a dart. Great branch to the Terrace. We're gonna go to the burn a dart. So we're gonna see you later. We'll see you later. We're gonna go hit there. It's the little open air area. I gotta burn a dart. We actually uh, we went out to the, the corridor. The corridor. Oh, oh shit! Okay. The corridor. Uh, the corridor actually, right? you know what? We got one of them newfangled vapes from Seven Eleven. We don't need to go out to the terrace anymore. Uh, we can, yeah, yeah, just vape we can inside. Vape bud. in the corridor, uh, bud. Corridor. <laughs> corridor. Uh, happy Seven okay. Eleven Day, by the way. It is Seven Eleven. Oh it fucking slurpee! Oh truth. man, I wanted oh, to get a slurpee. Get a slurpee. slurpee day. Uh, you, uh, you gonna open the door? Open it up. In we go. I love so, the spooky door noises. Uh, it's great. It's, I, I I definitely I kind of like the like Truby. Stop! Stop. I never forget. <laughs> fucking stop! No, oh man. God, oh. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, that's the name of one of my WoW Arena teams, bro. I'm no! not <laughs> And Joey, what was the, what was the team makeup? Let me know how degenerate you are. Tell me right oh, now. It was one of the teams that we that we sold, but if it was twos, it was probably uh Dis priest rogue. Hell yeah. Okay, so now, we found a big music. Yeah, this is weird. It's got some like sweet home vibes almost without the combat and shit like just the the first person stuff in that game mm -hmm. uh, So f you, just hear, was... you just hear the clock tower music from Castlevania start suddenly we <laughs> saw a Medusa head floating towards <laughs> us no! in an obnoxious panel pa uh, pa pattern pattern <laughs> So visor is mentioning about the third chrono game there was plans for a third chrono game it was called Chrono Break. Uh, they actually started scripts for it and everything, and a lot of the script ideas ended up in a little game called <laughs> Fantasy Thirteen Two. Interesting. I didn't know that actually. I still think it's sad we never got another Chrono game. Yeah, I mean, I would rather <laughs> us not get one, and then then one get, then us get one with the team that Square Enix had at the time. Well, you so, know, we are we are in the era of um uh, of sequels finally happening. So it, it's possible. It's possible. Anything <laughs> is possible. Now. 
Sorry. She's positively ancient. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good phone <laughs> introduction laugh, honestly. <laughs> no I'm problem. I'm sorry. Oh. Daughtery old bag. <laughs> what do you it's mean? It's Australian. It's just like that. different from us, okay? They say the C Daughter word a lot bag. more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what an impish little thing you are! Here to visit a friend, perhaps? Not in the dead of night, I suspect. Lest. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get a closer look at you. Oh, uh, yes. You must be here to get your revenge on Lynx. Uh, how did she? My heart jumped. She seemed to know exactly who we are. We were in trouble. What if she sounded the alarm? We're getting a little, like, Saturday morning cartoony here. Mm -hmm. We'd have to give up on the treasure and run for our lives. What were we going to do? Uh, defiantly tell her that she was right. I like to think it was definitely and they typoed it, but it's not. It's just, so, it's not. what if we are? Kids narrowed her, kid narrowed her eyes right back at the crone. What's it to you? If we're here to get our revenge on old Lynxy boy, uh, gonna do something about it? <laughs> you never change, do you? The crone chuckled madly, her small frame violently shaking. Ah, the boldness of youth. Yes, that's the spirit. You what? You what? Crone. <laughs> Completely confused. <laughs> I was no less mystified. What the heck are you on about? HD2D Chrono Trigger confirmed. Fuck, Trudy said it! Damn it! I just... I just... <laughs> own story. Anytime, anytime I see a game that is like HD2D, I'm just like... I'm wondering if Joey's yelling about this. Every time. <laughs> I am, yeah, I think it's a safe assumption that I am. Literally the first thing I thought with the new Star Ocean thing. I was just like, is Joey yelling about this? And I knew about that for months, and it, it I, I was like prepping my butt in anticipation. <laughs> oh, Hold on to your ass. <laughs> it must have been four or five years ago. Yes, it was around that an innocent young thief stole into the manor. Looking to singe Lord Lynx's whiskers. She couldn't have been much older than ten now that I think of it. Shocked, my gaze turned to Kid. A wet glint had appeared in Kid's eye, but her glare was like ice. A frozen flame of sorts. <laughs> it certainly felt as if the temperature in the room had suddenly dropped below freezing. Yeah, same to that mushroom. They were like, yeah, Dragon Quest 3 remake. Wait for it. Like, we're not saying anything more. Shadow, it'll be a shadow drop, I think. They're, they're yeah. literally like, I see you shiver with anticipation. And then they never finish <laughs> the word. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Drewby. Finally, someone. The, I, you know, even the stand that I am, I think that sometimes it looks okay. And then some of the shots look horrible. I'm, like, I'm still gonna play it. Oh, I'll play the <laughs> fucking shit out of it like crazy, but... I love Echo 2. I mean, but I'm also really fond of the first one. But... All they had to do was just not fucking Vaseline 4K upscale the, the backgrounds. That's all they had to do. Just keep it a consistent style because the original has a, like a, a mix of sp uh, sprites on 3D mm -hmm. models, but it looked so much more organic because the there wasn't like a huge disparity between the quality of it and then they to like try to match the visual style they just fucking just spilled bloom all over it looks frustrated it fucking sucks you sure about that they might do some um some adjusting or something before it drops but uh, uh, uh. drewby I, I both of you I'm going to I'm going to slam you and John's faces together like a streets of rage section man. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Both of y'all getting beat him up. You know, with the with the difference in shots though, it makes me think that like those particular bits were like maybe captured at different stages in development, so maybe that what could we see be, there yeah. is not gonna be what we see in the final product. But that's just that's just me being, you know, my normal. It's been done still. though. That's what kills me. It's been done. 
What am I doing here? Oh, uh, you're going to... Be careful, Joey uses a hitbox in modern controls. We got half of that right, Vicer, but... Not the modern controls one. Ooh, a pale, gentle light. Ooh. I've been healed. That's me when I'm not tan. That's me. You're yeah, you emanate a pale. Oh my God. True. <laughs> True. Mushroom, you played not the best ones. Like that's I, just the weirdest two games yeah. to play in that series, man. That, that's yeah. so that funny. Is, that two, is... two is uh, shut the fuck up, Wes. Wes knows. Yeah, two, 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 two is the I best in it. the series. Like it is so fucking good. Uh, you know what I hope for sometimes? If two does well enough, maybe they'll do do something with Blue Sphere where it's not, you know. That trapped. would be cool. I'm surprised that they. That feels like one of the things that would have felt like a, a great add on for the what remake. If it, what if it's a super secret add on that we don't know about yet? Hey, Joey. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. He's like, I can't say anything. I am. <laughs> no. I beat four and did not once have any. What up, K? I beat four and not once have any fun. Next, you'll tell me I'm dumb for liking Breath of Fire Five. We actually we appreciate no, dude, some things I, about that game. I like it was ahead it. of its time in some ways. I want to replay it. It's been a I long time. I haven't played time. it at all. I, I'm really stoked to play Five. I it, that the game looks like my shit. Sorry, I, I've derailed this even more. I just hit my ex escape button again. You want to play um, Star Ocean 6 is probably the best Star Ocean in a while. And, well, I mean, Star Ocean 6, at least I know Joey and Wes like four, but like for me, six was like three tier, which I put below two, which is still pretty high. So like I actually liked six a lot. Plus, it had the greatest brother of all time in it. So. Yeah, the greatest character, Raymond. Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. I'm I'm just now like I had to I uh, why I was staring off into the distance I was like trying to remember five and I was like oh yeah that's the one I restarted <laughs> relatively recently <laughs> and for whatever reason half of the NPCs Wes. I remember having voice acting and now they don't so I was like I'm confused what happened <laughs> all right back to the corridor uh, to be okay. fair, Visor, I was as lukewarm about its release as I was about its pre-release. I'm uh, gonna go right. Going right. Yep. Yeah, we're going right. Uh, I love the first Nino Cooney, and I think the net second Nino Cooney game is a whole lot of ass and wasted <laughs> potential. Yeah, ass and balls, or I just never ass? thought. Listen, it's a fucking game where at first the main character is the is the president of America getting isekai into a fantasy world and then like you know what just fuck this stuff That's just we're, fun of fantasy we're, gonna, man. we're gonna gloss over this and we're gonna give you the most mid shit in the world like I bounced off that one so hard because I was just like God, like you could have done something so much more fun and stupid with this L fuck. listen though I will say Nino Kuni well, 2 fuck you will does 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 uh does make does know when to make fun of itself and it does consistently do that so yeah mushroom king five fucking blows it's the most straight exactly like it's not like it, it, it's not a bad game it's just Fuck. the most you... aggressively mid average uninspired inside, by the trick way. thank Go you inside. Um, up yep. the, what's her name? Fiore, the the green, the teal haired. Uh, go, we, no, no. Oh, dude, you gotta press one button. You gotta press one button, man. I even it. said go inside. I don't know if you did. Go inside. Can we oh, go no. back? Can we go no, back. No, turn around. He reload his save from like twenty minutes can ago. He, can he turn oh, no. around? I th maybe you can. Hold on, let's it's see if I can stairs. go back. Let's see if I can go back at some point here. How dare you, oh, Frank? No. God damn oh, it. No. no, turn around. 
No, we're getting out of here. Yes, we're leaving. We turned back and went down. Okay. Woo! Let's see Let's if we can go back. That's how I feel about most Tales games. I'm not a super big Tales fan. I think they do a lot of things right, but overall, I feel pretty mid on a lot of them. Legend of Dragoon is one of... It's a lot of fun, but I think it's a pretty slightly above average RPG that a lot of people put on a really high pedestal. I'd love to see a remake of it. Over here, like, Tales games. <laughs> I, I, Tales, Tales is fine uh to me but it's just like fine you know like there's 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 some really good things about tales games though there i you recognize go, that i will say yeah i agree funny. to me they are all i think this kind of this actually fucks up your it's fine points yeah yeah it maybe. fucks yeah it's not that big of a deal but um we'll we'll see yeah see tales with multiplayer is we'll, we'll move it high up Tails has really good character moments. All right, go inside. Went inside. Yeah. Yeah. So you have it's to locked. figure out this door is locked, and then it's like tr it's a trigger for something later. I reckon I can handle a key hunt, especially if it's that a key hunt. Hit it. Is that the way of censoring the Australian c word? Uh, now so you continue on stare or. You no, could, just yeah. go down the yeah, board. You on. Yeah. Rattle. But shit, yeah, because he was going the other... I see what you mean, John. Yeah, because we were going back the other way. But you got a... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Encounter. oh, shit. So this is a random encounter. I, I, I don't really have any advice for these other than just fucking hit it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's very... Say, you know what? Save. Was, save. Yeah. yeah, save right just now. Case. I can't. God damn it. Oh, you can't. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Just uh, just attack it. You leaped at the skeleton. It's a really good emote. <laughs> <laughs> the mushroom. Yeah, yeah it, is. it was a S first and then attack. Mm. Oh. What's that, John? It was assess the situation first and then attack. Uh, do you know? Wait, th but they're always yeah, random. Yeah. And I think that each of but the um, enemy types has it's like a... Oh, like a script. A, best yeah, yeah. a pattern yeah. for the enemy type, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It can only be it. described as highly suggestive. What the... This does have the horny. Mm. What? Vespi's a really... Maybe, maybe Vespi's one again. of my favorite. Yeah, well, because it would be the second would be an attack, right? Or would this yeah. string yeah, not have I, happened? I, I, yeah, okay. just... I don't know. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Did Majel just get seduced by a skeleton? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yep, he did. It's just bones. <laughs> bones that want to bone, apparently. The bones are their money. Oh. And so Congrats. are the worms. Tales of Graces, I've had a great fucking battle system, though. I'll give that oh, all yeah. day. Did you as much oh, yeah. food as this? Underground oh, have as much came. food as this. Sorry, Rongo. I had to, re to reevaluate my True, entire... Man. I had to reevaluate my entire life when the next Tales game came out after playing Graces F because I kept trying to circle dodge. Man, you remember when Arise was, like, really good for 70% of it and then it just completely dropped the ball in the ending? I haven't finished everything. The, the so. end, um, all I'm saying is the end be, ends just as how you think it would. Okay. <laughs> that, that's the thing about Arise. Ooh, what what fucked me up is it, it uh, ooh, ooh. sparkling ooh. yim. Now we're talking. Nice to meet you, man. What a beaut. <laughs> like an eye. What a beaut. <laughs> it's pretty good Australian. I can't keep it for more than a few seconds. I, I, I see. It, it, it's crazy how different it is if you say it's surge tan, like it's a, a Japanese honorific, versus when you complete it and you say surge tankian. It completely changes the I fucking know, that's, sentence. I like, hate it so much, man. <laughs> like, not bad, surge tan. Not bad at all. Didn't know you had it in you. Versus, like, not bad, surge tankian. Not bad at all. Didn't know you had it in you. Like, 
<laughs> it's like the fourth it's, like, it's like 20 years old. That's what that that's wild to me. I don't know. A few rare words of praise. Yeah, I don't think Symphonia aged very wait, hold well. Hold on, we continue wait, down the corridor. Come on in, bro. Wait, wait, this is the wait. execution chamber, isn't it? I think so. Go inside. Yeah. Tables to spare. Do, 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 Oh, oh no, this is the clock tower. Any little old ladies in here? Ooh. No kindly old it's dears like who knew door. more than they were letting on lurking in the shadows? <laughs> That's a hey, good lady, line. Show yourself. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good little thingamajig. Okay, well, fuck. Okay, that was the storage room. That wasn't the uh, the other room. We're lost. All right, so we are lost. We are... Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. The clock tower storage. Uh, it's just one button, man. Right down the corridor. <laughs> Singular There's button. the sturdy door that we got last time. Okay. Keep going. I guess we go up the stairway. The smell of cold, oh, hard gosh. cash. We go inside. Continue on. This is the okay. door that won't open. Okay, continue on. Gotcha. I think we're back on track again. I hope oh, so. Oh, yeah, the scary stairs. The scary stairs, yep. Spooky stairs. Spooky, Spooky. scary stairs. Get ready to spoop him. Spoopy. Hmm. Why are we talking about trails, man? It, you, we're you talking, always, we're talking always about tails, not trails. Oh, tails is the same thing! It's all it's anime <laughs> bullshit, damn it! It's all this fucking it, it, it's so horny, we, it sucks. We go well, inside. I, I'm confused about this one. Because it says both uh Tales Trails yeah. and Legend of Heroes. You see that? Uh, you see that? No, well, hold on. I just wanna say Visor was talking shit, rightfully so, about Trails, and he was like, Well, John hasn't played Trails, and he's the bastion of what is right and good in Super RPG friends. He's no, got it. Legend of Heroes. He's got it's it! Legend of Heroes. It is Legend of Heroes, to be yeah, fair. It, you know, you're not wrong. Legend just in of case. Heroes games on my PSP. Advisor, that is, I'm so happy that you just pulled out a Trails game after that conversation. <laughs> God is good, no guys. God is good. All right, guys. God is, is good. good. God is good. <laughs> I just played Breath of Fire 2. God is not good, man. <laughs> Sonic 2 Wait, is my favorite Tales game. We got some plot. Here we go. Oh, what do we got here? Something about this place. The ground is creeps. Spooky. Take that back. Ground. Find something in here. Take a closer look. Bloody empty room. Step through. Scan the room. Notice something on the floor. Flagstones with scratches and thick black stains. Mm, oh, looks like they've been oh, killing oh, demons with their black blood. Oh, I, I think I think you might have to react quickly to this one. Okay, what, what what's my reaction to this then? So I know. We tried to barge the door down, I believe. Joey? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm completely lost here. You're lost there's, now. Yeah, I do. I there's like certain events that could happen. Um, it in it like there's like certain answers to events, but like when you start like moving out of the sequence that I have, like it it gets dicey. Because it really affects everything that happens. Like, your orientation changes, and then, like, if you get into an encounter, it changes even more. Mm. So it's like, yeah. The hell's going no, on? No, it's an earthquake. What's coming out? Something. Oh, God. What's what's up there? Oh, no. Spikes. Oh, no. We got spikes. Did you, did you, did you. Let's just look at them. Look at him following me. We've walked right into a bloody trap. Well, we gotta do barge something fast. Barge the door down. Barge the door. Hey, barge the door and, and burn it dark. Creaking sound is shook from the impact. I hurled myself at it too. It's no good. Make matters worse. We're popping in and out. This is gonna take three Search of us. Search tank and kill. It's gonna take all three of us. Once, twice, and a third Why time. Why did you? Why did you pin that? <laughs> <laughs> also, what's up, Barlazy? Oh, what's up, Barlazy? 
That's okay. I know we're just so entertaining. I get it. It makes sense. All right, we got out. Thank God. Well, we lived, bitches. We lived, bitch. You barge, he, you barging? Bugger me. Talk about a nasty surprise. Is this sort of, some sort of execution chamber? Magical continued, seeming to be deep in thought. Joey? Uh, it would take oh, a week. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was like feeling a sneeze too. In any case, the writing mechanism or the writing mentioned acacia. Oh, the, the acacia dragoons. The acacia strain. The acacia say, tree. Advisor F. Mook would know. <laughs> the man is talented. I've seen some of his work. Oh, who's this? Is this? Oh, this is, I think, Joey. The Acacia Dragoons, the elite knightly order serving General Viper, who has once governed the who once governed the territory of Galesburg to the west. I cannot read. Former knightly order, I should say. They were wiped out more than a decade ago by the lord of this manor, no less. Oh no. Uh huh. Thanks for the history lesson, Mag. It's like I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> Too bad we're not here for fairy tale life. Come on, we got a lot more corn left to do. Been in a day, bourbon and your stream helps. We're happy, Bar Lazy. We're here for you, buddy. And thankfully, you can get some form of super RPG Fred nearly every goddamn day of the week mm -hmm. at this point. So we're here for you. Do like a good bourbon. What you what you got, Bar Lazy? I always mean Bar Lazy. We always talk about what we drink. He he knows what I'm drinking. It's what I'm always drinking. There you go. I love calling it Major Miguel, man. That's so good. It's very good. I want an RPG. I've lately been super curious about implementing the Unity AI functionality on RPG with AI townsfolk. Mm. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. Yeah, but. I have an API that lets me make any dialogue be fed into an API. So you could just, like, talk with them in the game. Would you have to type out the responses? Or would it be like you pick from. It probably would like be a, adaptive. Yeah. So it probably would respond to you. That, but mean, then, he, then you got to assess Assassin's Creed dialogue choices. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> okay. Can, where are we going? going on? Uh, just keep, yeah, keep going. Continue on. on. And then we kept moving on, is the next one. Okay. Then you go down some stairs. Or yeah, you, could, you continue on until on you could go down some stairs. Yeah. We reached the terrace. We kept that's following cool. the corridor. But that's like a super version of like the keyword, like fucking Final Fantasy two thing. You know, corridor. Wild Rose. Type Wild Rose to the AI. <laughs> <laughs> Them like continuing like passing things and going through doors and going past through things they've already been before. And I'm like, it's like a Scooby Doo montage with the doors, but. Yep. It's down the, the stairs. Down the stairs. Yeah. Gotcha. Like that's the plot of Free Guy. Go to the right. Go to the right. I feel like a Scooby Doo mystery. Yeah, to the right. To, this, to the right. Yep. Okay. The right to the what right. you should be leaning, brother? Let me tell you. Conservative Joey here on Super. <laughs> yeah, <Earth>. it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> things that things about me that everyone knows I, I i'm i'm conservative leading uh don't enter just keep keep going keep going continue, continue on our way. way let's go yep. right, i'm full of drink up more water immaculately polished door immaculately polished immaculately, immaculately. again this immaculate. whole this whole last game was made in three months. It's fucking wild to me because there's a lot of uh, permutations of things that could happen. And for like a Super Nintendo game, sorry, it's a Teleview game. Hey, it's you still out in this, right? You can yeah. die. Yeah, I have. I've died in this. You know, continuing to watch ass. this, this um, hallway animated sequence. I'm over here like it's kind of mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a like the a, a 1997 or eight screensaver. Yeah, like the you know, the ma the, ra the maze with the rat in it one. That yeah, was the best yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. I would actually love this as my screensaver. It can happen. 
Like, yeah, yeah, F Mook. There's like um there's like music playing from somewhere. It's like a three second loop. It's the, the <laughs> FF battle theme music. There's like uh it, it, actually if you look at the Super RPG Friends stream, it's actually looking a lot like an Angel Fires website. Because, because you got like uh, the five hundred little things in the bottom. There's like mm-hmm. six thousand letters and numbers. Uh, things popping up on the top left for no reason. It's like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's kind of angel fire. It's true. It's true. It, it, everything old, that was old is new again. We're back, baby. <laughs> Needs animated flames too. Yeah, we we, we get a little it. under construction banner when Frank walks away. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sign my yeah. guest book in the t- in the bottom left. Oh Lord, that brings me back. Uh, also, I just looked at the overlay. We we're playing Suikoden still. That's cool. <laughs> it's. I mean, there's 108 different dialogue choices, so it it matches. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget left. Ju- left justified is uh, my my counterpoint political podcast, Drewby. Mm-hmm. To the Joey's. Uh, the- Fuck off, yeah. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I heard walking in the room. Yeah, we, we call this one winged angel fire. Is what this is, folks. One winged oh, angel. Oh shit. It is. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my job. What's up, Dilla? All our enemies. He came here, let us to let us know he was here, and then just disappeared. Uh, so go in. Yep. If you can go in, I think you should be able to go in. Went go inside. In. Yeah. I'm lurking. Exactly. <laughs> Joey, toxic Twitch streamer, calling out the lurkers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he said something. I was, I was my, fucking. No. Oh, my God, Drew. <laughs> Jesus. One Geomancer Cities! No. Oh, that's so good. I was trying to make one happen for, for Geo Cities. I couldn't do it, but that's really good. Geomancer Cities. That's nice. really good. <laughs> He's right Geo- there. Oh, man. And Tripod Disaster. What's the other one? All I'm right, here we go. Back lady. with the fucking mirror. Mm-hmm. We're asking the ghost asking where the key, where the key is. to the vault is. Yep. Hey, ghost. What do you Hey, design? ghost. Hey, ghost. <laughs> Kids' measurements was an option. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be like a '90s Japanese game if it if there were a joke about measurements. Listen, Vicer, I'll tell you, these guys are a lot easier to wrangle than a bunch of gunpla builders watching anime. Good lord. I love them, but who boy, it's a different vibe. <laughs> Show meaning play. Hell yeah. Peasants. How's that going to look? Because I remember. Oh, wait, another, another play? Is this a second other play? So, yeah, so this is like the fastest way to get this key i believe and it, uh, one of the endings depends on how fast Where you go through this he knows okay so we're, we're gonna have to be tight on our moving around I, here yeah we're gonna have to be nice and tight we should be good though hurry oh, up yeah, no, it's all awesome. time for sinking Me- mecca monday has been crowing like crazy i'm really happy that a random idea that i had is being so well received essentially it made me buy a gun kit that i have not built yet <laughs> Drewby, <laughs> because oh, we that's... know they're only around for Gundam. Listen, there is the Mecha Monday Island, and eventually they will take a boat to the mainland of Super RPG Friends. It's just a slow process. The trade, in, there's a trade embargo, unfortunately. That's awesome, the Dilla. Oh my God, that fucking rules! You, oh dude, that's so cool. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What's her digits? <laughs> Forty-two, twenty-seven, thirty-six. D. That's not. I shh, don't don't correct me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier if it's if it's wrong, you know. I, I maybe I don't know. Uh, <laughs> go past. Go past. Yeah, go past that motherfucker. Continue on our way. On our way. Go left. Go left. Left. Left passage. <clears throat> it's about to get spicy in a little bit, though. This is kind of oh, crazy. Yeah. I just I didn't know what I was expecting, and this what is direction? like 
side passage. Study. Take the third option. Yeah. Gotcha. We love our insane unicorn man. He's an interesting person. We headed down the side. I expected nothing, and yet <laughs> Big McThankies from Mc, McThankies from McFrankies. God, that's a good name for a Frank restaurant too. Disgusting, I've always just said like, dude. <laughs> whatever, whatever restaurant or anything dude. that I open should just be called Frankies, but McFrankies. Go, go in, Frank. Go in, go in. Frank, go wake in. up. Frank, wake up. Your family misses you. Your wife loves you. Frank, wake up. Go in the study, Frank. Or else John has to again. <laughs> Purple book. Purple. In the far bookcase. Mac, Mac Frankles. Purple cover for this bookcase. Yep. Uh, when I first played this, I guessed every single one but the right one. Oof. <laughs> it was good. A plus. Hell yeah. Nailed it. Nice one, Surge. Nice one, Surge Tan. McJorsef. McJorsef? <laughs> it's like a McRib, but like veiny. <laughs> Oh, my hair is in it. Why? <laughs> like a Ren and Stimpy version of uh, a McRib. I don't know. It's what I. It's like it's like a tasty. <laughs> Good relief. Uh, thank you, yeah, armor. Thank you, thank you, armor. Go to the terrace, right? The terrace, yeah, the terrace. The terrace. All right, it's time. I hope everyone's got a dart and you're ready to hack it. Yeah, we, we're if you're going ready to burn the dart. dart. You, you might as well take out the dirts and hack them. Yeah, dude, uh, uh, Dilla, I definitely, um, if you need me to turn up the game a little bit, just, be, I mean, honestly, this game is so fun. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Anyway, but the music the so dirt. contributes to the vibe in this game in a great way. Hey, Frank, uh, I think you want to keep following the corridor. Okay, gotcha. So we're not going to the tent. God damn it, I'm having a nick attack here. I just want to hack a dang dart. Hey, well, hold on, Frankie. Before you hack the dirt, go ahead and save your game, bud. Oh, yeah. Save your game, dear. Okay. <laughs> <It's a fierce. laughs> I did not. I didn't make him do shit. <laughs> Listen, me, Vicer, and my barber hung out and watched Trailer Park Boys the other day. It was a time. That's, it was that's a vibe. something, man. Where are we going? Uh, so where are we You're going? Gonna go move. Uh, you keep, keep going. Down. Keep going on. Continue on. Gotcha. Yeah. You're Gosh. gonna find this yeah, this oh, dirty yeah. looking door. Another photo. Is it like a little? Oh shit! Oh. It's fucking shit, man. So my favorite thing is that my barber is very soft spoken and he plays in like metal bands. I'll actually have to send you his music, Joey. You'd probably like it. Um, and I am hard of hearing. So I love when I get my hair cut, there's metal playing and my barber is like, yeah, so anyway, you know, like I'm doing all this stuff and like, you know, I'm, I'm going to the stuff and I'm playing this music and I'm just like, ha! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> one, one more time? Hold on. What, you uh, what are you one, saying? It's like, can you speak up? Hey. Uh, what color you want, G squared? I got you, baby. Crazed blood red eyes. It was a, it was a Florida it? bath salt man. Oh, no. Uh, there he is. Oh, what, what do we do against the griffin? This is uh, strictly for my Pasco people, but it's a griffin park. This one is different every time. So, okay. test your luck. Alexa, turn the lights dark red. Oh my god! <laughs> it, it momentarily picked itself out. Oh boy. Draw my oh, weapon, no. Griffin. Spread powerful wings and swoop towards you with an almighty screech. Damn, got the ambush on me. Frank's in the oven. Do, 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 do. Forcibly inject the griffin with Narcan. The griffin's <laughs> overdosing. It's not to see the shadow people. Oh, no. Someone call six. Bring him in. He can save us. 
Uh, there's no one we have to way six would like this game, man. Uh, this Probably this seems like anti six. Yeah, I ducked it. I missed uh, it. You ah, suck, shit. bro. You could also reload the save. And try again. Your save. Yeah. yeah. Look at its eyes, a tie on something. This thing's going blood. out of control. Oh, that's that's a a shoulder. This is a good question to consider. When we get to this part in Chrono Cross, see if there's any griffins. You know what? I will say, I really love the way that they um, illustrate, like, the, the way that they describe the fight and how much, like, teamwork there is and i feel yeah. like that's kind of a callback to like you know this is part of a series that has all these dual texts and stuff we have to illustrate that they fight together in like a seamless way like maybe that's not the reason maybe it's just them being descriptive and making a good fight scene but that would make sense to me if they were no, like that's cool i i like that read actually because uh adding some narrative to the yeah, dual text they're, they're straight every all of these fights have basically ended with a surge and kid wombo combo and i feel like that's it's a dual tech like yeah. mm -hmm. turned his mad crazed eyes toward me and it said let me talk to your manager no karen griffin it's a karen, karen griffin. griffin oh my god all right, all right karen chat griffin. Chat, this one's on you. I jump back. Oh my god, I didn't get what? to. No, fuck. Yeah, oh, yeah you can't wait. You can't wait. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm gonna oh. die. Okay. Just reload, oh, no. your, reload your save there, bud. Because you, yeah, you, you, you saved you, like right before it. How do you I wanna, reload the you save? Do I just reset it? I think you just, uh, here. Oh, that it. works too. Don't blame oh, yeah. chat. <laughs> no, blame Dual chat. Text interfere. Yeah, it's true. Man, right. chat, you're Great. just letting us down here you know, that's real, all you me real quick i didn't i forgot about the fact that some of these are time gated chat sorry i can't believe frank lost oh, radical dude, dreamers. it takes us all I, I i took an l in radical dreamers too bad i got so oh, yeah. unlucky with the combat yeah that can happen for sure well, like, I, really. I never want to talk about my fucking the first playthrough I did of that um god what's his name the fucking idiot who makes the super narrative games the uh, Detroit Become Human oh every, David Cage every, everything was going great and then all at the end I just somehow picked all the worst choices like four times <laughs> in a row and my playthrough just came to a halt everyone died and I was like god I'm fucking I don't know man like I can't believe oh, Serge Tankian's fucking dead. I think you just go right past this. Continue on. Yeah. Dude, that's been happening, Raph. I don't know what it is. Um, the, the Discord stuff that I set, like, hit Discord with Russian. What? I didn't... I thought Raph was just being a goof, but no. Is it really in German? Shit, shit like that has been happening. I think it's because the VPN I use. It, like, doesn't... It determines, like, a... Uh, Inside, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're going in. Yep. Going in. We're going in, Daddy. That's weird, because I saved right before the fight. So regardless of where you save, it has like a hard start from point. Well, the, the fights aren't really scripted for the most part. Oh, they sort of randomly happen. So, yeah, okay, random. so that fight was a random <laughs> fight. Yeah, it's okay, a random okay. Okay. There, There's, you're about to come up on one of the, the actual fights, but... Um, yeah. there are, there's, oh, a, shit, there's like okay. two, like the two or three there, like, um, Ooh, we found a bunch of riches. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Is that a kebab on your table, Joey? What? A kebab. <laughs> wow. Vicer. Vicer's pr racially profiling me again. <laughs> Yet again. Well, listen, Raph's here. Someone has to get race baited. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a donor. If it was a donor joke, then it could be a German joke. VCR. I don't know what those are. That would be fun though. We're working on doing a D and D night, so be ready for that. Yeah, trivia with, with nice Hunter, aka Dookie Shed, is going to be the DM for it. 
The daddy, the daddy mommy. Yeah. Oh. Daddy mommy. What do we pick? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, what does that look like to you, fans of Chrono Trigger who do not know <laughs> Cross as well? Raph, link it. Raph, link it. Put that in the. Ch you know what you want to link in the chat, Raph. Link it. I know that it's not what it is, but it always made me think of Chrono Hair. Like, that's just what I see. <laughs> Chrono Hair, yeah. That's the third game in the series, Chrono Hair. Chrono yeah. Hair. Trigger. Dun, 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 dun. We've got what we came here for. Wow, we managed to do it without anything horrible happening to us. Right? Thank God. Oh my God, it crumbled to dust. It was a fake flame. Boom. Rings with Cavos. Oh God. All right. Well, we're fucking stuck okay. in here, guys. Da, 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 da. Bonehead. Metallic parrots. Thieves! Oh. Thieves! <laughs> Oh, that was the biggest thing ever! They're clockwork carrots. And, and it stops halfway through. It just gives up on being a link. Yeah, it, it's, it's like... <laughs> it's because it's a Google image search thing. Hey, <laughs> what up, oh, Limit Breakers? Thanks for the oh, sub. How you doing? The pin takes up half the chat. <laughs> the pin did? Hell yeah, bro. Hold on. I'm Let's trying go. to look at this fucking... <laughs> link. What is Joey Token validation fail. Yeah, Joey, it didn't even work! You motherfucker! No. Chrono oh. Wigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the affiliate anniversary! Yeah, it's our one year affiliate anniversary! Joey, poor Joey! <laughs> <laughs> Said you can say it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the <laughs> <Jim Pizer>. Here's <laughs> the link. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it starts downloading something in hard coded Arabic subs, just just deal with it. It's not a big deal. It's not stealing your information. If it if it says to delete your system 32, just say yes. Oh no. John! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, John here's the was actual sent. link. You hurt me. You hurt me. Oh, here oh we go. God. No! That's awful. Joey! That is not. <laughs> Joey! Dude, Joey. that. What the, the fuck? fuck? What the fuck? Joey! What? Uh, Joey! Oh my god, Vicer! <laughs> Vicer absolutely <laughs> destroyed! <laughs> I'm at work. Armor, dude, I'm at work. <laughs> uh, it out loud. No. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I it. God damn it. No. <laughs> okay, to be fair, it's Never like, mind, it's you guys are really all worse than the Gundam guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh. Through, on the CS Discord made Racer! that joke, man. No! So good. Oh. <laughs> so good. <laughs> all right, Clarence. <laughs> okay, let me give you a piece of lore behind that, that, that photo. Raph found, that, <laughs> yeah, Raph found that at three in the morning and posted it on the Discord, and then we it got deleted in like two seconds. Thanks, so. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, God! <laughs> what the heck's a hecarin? Heck, 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 heck! Hecarin? Yeah. It really is a hecarin. Bye, heck. So hecarin was the the magic the boss in the cavern in Chrono yeah. Trigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That the clapping one. Where he's like weak, super weak to magic. Oh yeah, dude, we play whack. -a you have to play whack a mole with it. If you post it in Discord, you have to delete it before someone sees it. The faster what? you can post right, it and delete six. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's different than six because it's like uh, it's like playing whack a mole. You know, it's like it's a mini game. What do we do? Oh, okay. Had to save kid. Okay. 
It does. I don't think that matters. It but doesn't yeah, matter, but yeah. yeah. Hey, stop for brains. This is this is a while ago, but this is like uh, I think like. Four months ago. This <laughs> CS Discord sounds scary these days. It's a rough place, man. Uh, it's okay, a rough so area. Just, it's, it's the bad part to, of town. I have to explain the, the the joke here because you it, it's never important. should have played Dissidia. It's soon to set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Oh my so God. I have a an acquaintance. Frank and I have a mutual acquaintance. Uh, and I asked them if they were playing Street Fighter 6 and they said no because Street Fighter used to be a, a cool techno anime fighter and then it turned into a graffiti gangster hip hop game and I on it, I think that might be one of the worst takes I've ever heard period. like just so <laughs> unbelievably unpalatably bad that like I, I just and it was from a white guy. That's the thing, dude. If it was from a white dude, it'd be like, okay, yeah, you're just a fucking idiot. But like, it, like it, it's so. I think it's so much worse than it wasn't. <laughs> Turn into Tony Hawk's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Great for some album captains. Mm -hmm. Glorious gob strike. <laughs> okay, maybe we should yeah, read this part random. because. Right, because right. this, this could, yeah. All right, we'll start reading. Gob strike incoming! What do I do? Oh, it's uh, random. It's random. Do your best. All right. Let's try to strike back with my knife. Landing a heavy blow. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Nice. All right. This is Major. what I got down. I'm pretty sure this is How where I died. How does a Cuban know a spell like that? Who are you? The goblin was quickly silenced as the rushing winds tore through it, and it collapsed to the floor with its final shriek. Major looked down at his victim, his expression unchanged. Another goblin flew down from overhead, bombs away! With a growl, it sent its morning star swinging from away. I rolled away! I rolled across the floor, dodging the attack. The morning star clashed into the flagstone, sending sparks flying. That was a close shave. I made good my escape by rolling further, clumsily putting some distance between myself and my attacker. God strike incoming! I readied myself to parry the attack. Frank is like the most monster driven, monster energy oh, drink driven oh, DM oh, right, right into it. The goblin's face crumbled in agony for Good a job. second time, it. baby. Good job. Yeah, Last right. out with a lightning yeah. fast strike. Dual tech. That's more where that came from. Please have mercy. The stricken goblin has collapsed to the floor, its eyes wide with fear. This isn't a game, Search Tanky, and watch yourself, will ya? Another goblin flew down from overhead. Bombs away! <laughs> with a growl, I sent its end morning star swinging from above. I jumped no, over a counter text prompt. Damn. I tackled the goblin head on and bounced helplessly off its enormous uh, uh, rock-like uh, body, smashing oh. headfirst into the floor. No! The shock of the impact jolted through my body. Gob strike incoming! A goblin rushed towards me, swinging its weapon overhead. I dodged the attack. Okay. It brushed back my cheek. I don't know how, but I managed to escape unscathed. I lost my balance, though, and fell clumsily to the floor. Major conjured up a black wind, which surged forth like a shearing tempest. How does a human know a spell like that? I know my buddy just said this, but who are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh my god, there's more! Another one. Yeah, this is what happens when you leave things to AI. Yeah. That didn't work. I, I think these don't work out. That, you know, that didn't work out last time, but... Oof. Glory to the Gob Squad! That was the last of them. We did it! We made it! Well, that was good. You did it. Oh, you did well. You rolled it. Yeah. Fred, there's gambling. It's true. Listen, one of my friends told me about a roguelike gambling game that with RPG it's elements. It's just real life gambling, dude. You think I'm going to go to fucking Hard Rock Casino on Twitch.tv and lose yes. my real money? No, that's yes. that's the ultimate. I don't know. It would have to be like it, it, it would have to be like a donation goal. <laughs> like like let's raise $200 for Frank to live stream live gambling. Like <laughs> yeah, live from New Orleans during your trip. Oh my god. Oh man.
Is no. that allowed? I fucking hate real casinos. That's why I like this stuff. Vampire Survivor. Vamp I understood how Vampire Survivors worked when I realized the developer for that game, before that game, he made slot machines. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. that makes total fucking sense then. I would put gambling worlds in my VR worlds just to break Frank. Yeah, he would constantly be like, where'd Frank go? And I'm just there like, yeah, baby, <laughs> I'm money on the slots. Oh my God, Raf. Surge tankian. Surge. What were you thinking, you great dr dr drongo? You big old drongo. That's a Zelda enemy, right? A that's a do -dongo. That's a do dongo. Yeah, a do drongo. They were. They were awesome. It's like a. Machines. It's like a bird. It's like a. a uh, it, it's like a like a like a chubby raven. It's Wait, I so forgot. You remember when we found Australians that, are insane. Remember when That's we found that uh, Chinese gambling cruise ship on VR chat? It was fucking it badass. Y'all need to come with me to the That's Chinese gambling badass. cruise ship, bro. It's badass. This I'm gonna start. Said the their links is elite guard, right? Got to steal from them. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna start calling people drongos and I don't care if they tell me it's a slur. It's you, my god-given right as an American, bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joey, I, I watched your full facial range during yes, that I, the, the, the 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 phrase I'm gonna, like, I don't care if it's a slur is incredibly <laughs> Florida <laughs> Like out of context, it's extremely okay, do you Florida. you guys wanna know what drongo means? It's yeah. a bird. It's no. a bird. I, I don't think it's a bird. Well, yes, it is a bird. Okay, but good. it's also oh, no. Australian slang as a mild form of insult, meaning idiot or stupid right. fellow. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Like a, it's like a dumb bird, Not like canceled. a can, like calling someone a canary or something. I don't know, man. Fucking canary. Look, I played also, a lot of. Also, drongos are like these black birds with spooky looking eyes that have like a pompadour like feather bit like right above their beak. So they do kind of look silly. So. Hence the name. Like a Pokemon? A little bit like a Pokemon. I think I'd be mad if someone called me a canary too. I think so. I, yeah, that, like when uh, Final Fantasy IX just bothered me because that uh, I'll be your canary shit. It's like it felt like it was scooting around some some terms, and I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh, but yeah, the the, uh, the Australian f slang hits different, man. Man, so all the Australian slang that I know, literally, I learned from Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Fascinating. Yeah. All from a series of video games. That I she still like, play. Oh, sniffing for scraps. I don't see it. Returnal's not hard, really. Like, it's got a bit of a learning curve, but it's like it's designed to make you win now. You could also exploit it. <laughs> what was Kelly? I miss Kelly's reaction. My, I had to make this screen super huge to read the text, so I'm missing all your faces. Missing all the reactions of everyone. Yeah, yeah. I was just dang pod saw Saucy speak. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a really good Australian moment in Breath of Fire Three. I can't wait till we get to that, man. Oh, it's so good. It actually had me like like like. Like actually capital LMAOing. <laughs> uh, like my threshold for like actually laughing out loud is anything higher than a lowercase haha. -ha. If there's anything higher than that, then I'm I've laughed out loud. Whether it be like a <laughs> or a chuckle, there's something verbal. I missed a bunch of chat. Damn, hell yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. do you, uh, about how far through are the, of, uh, about how far are we in this so far? Uh, maybe like 40% halfway, depending. 40? Is there a yeah. good spot where you would say that you call this half? This is a good spot. Yeah, actually. okay. Yeah. Well, let's, yeah. all right, let's get out of this room and then we'll, we'll move on out then. 
<laughs> Visor. Will you make both a jokes when Breath of Fire 4 is inevitably played on? Listen, all I, I would love to play fucking BOF4. That's my favorite BOF game. Watching Clone High for the first time and just got the Daniel Feld for the stereotypically Australian dragon. Great old time, mate. <laughs> oh, Clone High. That show makes me laugh. It's a funny one. Oh, poor Visor. Count pocket light and bits of string. Poor, poor Joey, really. The guy's been killed like four times tonight. All right, we left in search of the real frozen flame. Come on, bring me to, there we go. I don't know where, so, I, I don't know where this will like pick you up at though. Like, <coughs> oh, that's you true. Love, I, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of where we left off. Okay. So I don't forget. Well, because if nothing else, we're right after the the treasure room scene. I love this music. It's real good. I can't believe Joey's been <laughs> murdered four times and refuses to stay fucking dead. He's Us immortal. Too. Can 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 we can we listen to the Chrono Cross intro? <gasps> yes, Absol please. absolutely Let's, we can. Please. <laughs> yeah. All I want. Just a little teaser for little when teaser we actually play. Oh, yeah. Anytime so I'm on the Chrono Cross streams, you will see me do this every time. I just jam out to this song. It's really fucking good. It's so good. <sighs> hey, look, it's it's the diary that we found. No way. Dude, the, the fretless bass slide, man. You fuck. Hey, thank you, being sage. Sorry, we're, ju we're vibing to the Chrono Trigger intro. This is how we're ending the stream. We're just vibing. you haven't listened to the, any of this music yet. This is just good. Good intro, good game. Hell yeah. Oh, what's up, Sage? How's it going, man? Welcome. Yeah, we just we just finished up about halfway of Radical Dreamers. And we were like, you know what? We gotta fucking do this. Hey, thank you for the sub armor, my man. Oh, that's like crackling so hard it's cracking yeah, it is. Is. yeah frank you need when you turn your game audio up you have to do it on Streamlabs, not on your elgato thing because yeah that Ooh. that shit will uh gate so hard oh there we go there you go oh yeah still gate still still doing crunching. it to me. there we go yeah it sounds great yeah. on stream well that's good yeah that's good, yeah. Uh, yeah. It might just be the El Elgato. Discord. Yeah. Good old Discord. It's so mad at myself for never exactly finishing this. For me. Well, Doc, you gotta finish it with us. We love it when people play with us on stream. Either they'll, they'll um, usually people will watch us and then they'll do the part of the game themselves next. We love it when people play these games on stream with us. So either that or just hang out for all the streams, man. We're, we're doing it. We're doing the whole game, so. Yep. <sighs> My jam. I love good the time. title screen. The underwater. It's like, so good. It's so There's good. Something. Yeah, I, I think I liked the title screen more than oh, the actual perfect. game when I was dead. <laughs> It's rude. Uh, yeah, I, I had no taste. Oh, oh no, don't start a new game. I was just what looking at what it uh, did first. No, okay. Frank. Frank. <laughs> Bingus. Frank, stop. Frank can now freely give him a bad name because we can start over. Exactly. Yeah. We exactly. Read even more so than uh, Bot and Kaido's. Mm -hmm. Bot and Kaido's backgrounds are, Less. are also fucking. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know which one of those I would choose. Oh, my God. We could do the whole thing, guys. <laughs> 
No. Oh, we could have a full. Like, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. An honest yes. to God search tankian. <laughs> and better than Bonka. Yeah, but it doesn't have the rainbow area. We can. Oh, one perfect. out of ten. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. The what the quality of the voice out? acting is that. It's perfect. Look, it was meant to be, guys. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> meant to be. Sergi Poo. Sergi Poo is a good one, too. I'm not going to lie. Baton's oh, the, 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 the partial dialogue. Uh, I, search Sente. I've never played uh, Bait and Kados. I want to one day. All right, let's switch to intro outro here. Yeah, that's pretty true, actually, Raph, yeah. And then sometimes, like, the, the foreground just blends so heavily in with the background that it's, like, FF9 on a broken CRT. Yeah. So, I gotta say, that was really interesting. Um, I literally only went in with that with people telling me that it was a, um, a visual novel, which it most definitely was, but, like, there was a very particular vibe curated with this. And like you say, where it's it, it's a lot more of a, um, I wouldn't say like a negative vibe, but just more of like a, a darker, more, <laughs> it's a danker vibe, bro. It's yeah, just like dank. nastier. It's yeah, like, like it, it, it doesn't have such a positive cadence that I feel like Chrono Trigger and Cross do. And it, it's really interesting. This is, I, I feel like, I can imagine playing this without the knowledge of what to do and it would be a little bit frustrating um because of the pacing but like this is this has been really cool like it, it's a cool little piece of extra to go along with it all mm -hmm. i got mega lost on my first playthrough when i wasn't using a guide i got deeply <laughs> deeply lost in a, in a hallway it was great felt great yeah i did too I, I i definitely did too then i then i died to the goblins that you that you were just on that i absolutely <laughs> wrecked like a mm. boss yeah the goblins like fucking absolutely spit roasted me I, I didn't get a single hit in they just like <laughs> they didn't just let me have any time yeah yeah it kind of <laughs> it seems bad. like the type of game that you know especially when it first came out and even now that you need to keep like a little notebook by you to be like mm -hmm. okay where was i last so that way if you get totally like turned around you can kind of try to find your way back but it might not exactly be the same which kind of like reminds me of like old like adventure games on pc which i'm just like oh okay so by the time i got to the fifth ending i think i had most of the layout figured out and did all right but oh, man yeah, no I... that would that my brain would not retain that information i would have to write it down short-term memory literally that bad the um the orientation of it is the is the most confusing part it's ending i think that would be a good um like stretch goal for us somehow which lord knows stretch goals i don't know how we're gonna figure it out with all the multiple shows but um to come back and do the ending that you have to beat the game for that they added that's a that would be really cool to do i learned that doing that is fairly simple but we might be able to do like a couple of the goofy endings and the true ending because mm -hmm. i think that you don't actually have to play much to get the true ending you can make a save before the end i believe oh, and then okay. once you beat chrono cross um you, you just have to go back you just have to watch the credits basically you don't even have to beat the game oh yeah. nice oh what's up super hand how's it going man we uh we just did about half of radical dreamers in prep for our chrono cross playthrough we're doing a little soft launch for our uh tuesday night streams right now we're gonna be starting uh chrono cross in one of the last weeks of july and we figured it would be fun to do this as a little supplementary material uh we're doing the finale of sweet code and one too this thursday so we're got a lot of cool stuff going i i honestly Talking to Joey, Joey's mid scrimblo for uh, Breath of Fire. And if you don't know our sweet baby Joey, a scrimblo is when this man beats every game in a series within like a week or two. Um, and talking to Joey about Breath of Fire and sharing music, talking about like 
the ways that you can build your characters and shit like that has made me so much more excited for Breath of Fire 3. And Joey reminded me just how fun the dialogue is. He was like, Frank, oh, yeah, no, that game is, he's like, Frank, you're going to go yeah. insane for the dialogue on this game. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It's funny that like a, when you actually have a localization team or like, you know, a little bit of effort into a localization like three breath of fire three did how much that works but there is like a charm in shitty localization you know um mm. i feel like uh you know and then you have like localizers who are you know like the the ted the ted woolsey who are like hey, super thanks, competent Turtle Doc. appreciate you man have a great night thanks for stopping by yeah dude. thanks for hanging out well, thanks for thanks for watching us Hell read yeah. a, can't a wait book. for the next stream that's what i like to hear thank you so much we're happy to have hold on let me uh Drop the link tree. Um, we also, we have a Discord, all kinds of really cool stuff. So make sure you check that out. Continue, sorry. At the no, that's all, that's all I got. Uh, John, how are you feeling about this? Oh, that's a lot like what I remember. And, uh, you know, like Kelly, I'm struggling to map it out, but I pasted <laughs> the map that, what was that? struggling to map it out and figure out where the hell I was going half the time or what mm -hmm. led to what. So yeah, definitely notes would have been helpful. The the walkthrough that we're following is pretty good though. Hell yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that when I played through it because just having something I had to like sift through a like an ancient game facts walkthrough when I was trying to get <laughs> the specific endings. <laughs> And it was like one of the. It was you know it's ancient when it's got like fifty thousand ASCII um, emoticons intro, and yeah. shit. And, and it's like it's like he, it's like written by an ancient weeb, you know. Ancient like, weeb. There's, there's something uh, special about that. Ancient weebs, the elder weebs, if you will. Oh, I, mm -hmm. uh, I I have to say I was tilted by the. So to me, the Breath of Fire games are really easy, but. The hardest thing in all three of those games is moving a block. <laughs> you know, it's like just pushing Breath a block. Fire, Breath of Fire thinks that it's doing something really fun and innovative. And in practice, it is the opposite of that. It is unfun. It's unintuitive. And you're just like, can this be over? I know in Breath of Fire 4, there's a mini game where you like fight someone on the sail of like a ship. And it fucking sucks. Like I, <laughs> I stand by. I love Breath of Fire's random mini games, and in three and four, they really embrace that. But there's definitely a few misses. You can only, you can't attempt like 15 mini games in an RPG without having a few misses. But like. For the most part, it's all really fun and all the main like the longer more involved mini games are all really rewarding like with Breath of Fire I want to try to do like um, Fishing side streams like if we do, you know, like, you know five gift subs or something like that in a stream The next stream will be me fishing for like two hours trying to catch Because there's always you can you can like if you fish a lot, you can get completely broken equipment super early in the game. So I just think that would be a fun way to showcase how the game rewards you putting in some time to it with uh, in-game rewards. Mm -hmm. There's actually a fishing thing that you should do pretty early in the game too that I have planned out. Uh, you get like a really good weapon early on and it'll probably be around the first the end of the first episode of the game so you'd have time to do that off, off stream I, I really stream. liked the uh, the conversation you and me had about like Breath of Fire's battle system as a whole and like what, breath, what what really makes the Breath of Fire battle system how like if you just look at it with what it's presented directly in battle it feels pretty basic up until four but it's the surrounding systems that hold these games up when it comes to their combat yeah yeah it's not really the combat itself it's just the builds and it's kind of like ff8 is like this too um uh, a lot of a lot of rpgs or jrpgs you know derogatory are like this too because they uh 
like the combat is just selecting a command. There's like yeah. barely any timing to it, whatever. But it's just like about building your your guys and planning your strats. Oh, building up your buds, huh? Building up your buds and burning dirts <laughs> and hacking dirts with your buds. Hacking dirts with your buds. <laughs> hacking dirts with your buds. Joey, you're fucking. Oh, I did. I oh, just, oh, sorry, right. I just saw show talk, so <laughs> just now. What's he cooking? Um, but yeah, okay, so Kelly. Wait, we just did Kelly, didn't we? No. <laughs> Kelly, how do you feel about uh what we did tonight? It was it was interesting to see how like little I'd retained from my not too long ago playthrough of this. I was still like, I don't fucking know where we are. Any door could be, lead anywhere, um, but I don't know. I it's just kind of nice that every experience is just a little bit different with the game. Um, there's a little bit of anxiety, like knowing like what you need to do, and just like watching silently. But uh, other than that, mm -hmm. good good show, good show, good fun, good good time, good game. Um, I can't wait to see how this resolves. Yeah, no, I'm you? super pumped. I'm fucking, um, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, we'll, we'll schedule it afterwards, but hopefully you guys are available next week and we can clean this out with the same crew because- yeah, We'll be here next week. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear. But that's the nice thing, Companion Quest, is that it's gonna be the, uh, the regulars, the, the people who you know you can always depend on. Like, oh, I, I can't wait. It's really exciting to have a specific spot where I can be like, Man, I fucking love having like Venny and, and someone else on or Kelly and, and Rachel and like let's just we have an extra day for me to hang out with the people who have like the formula is proven, you know? It's really cool. I I'm super excited about it. Um, Rachel, how about yourself? How you feel about tonight, what we did so far, and this entry in the Chrono Saga as a whole? I think well this is my actual like first experience like playing it and uh, other than being like completely a spectator because i watched like you know playthroughs of other people doing it so that was different but i think the combination of no voice acting at all we have to read it and the ambient music it just really mellowed me out and made me sleepy <laughs> i get that yeah so um which isn't uncommon for me with visual novel type games um, but, um, I think it was the ambient music that did me in, but I, I was having fun. There was a lot to retain. Um, and I was honestly getting a little anxious every time, like, a choice came up. Because yeah. my, first, my first anxiety was, oh no, what if Frank isn't paying attention and hits the wrong button? <laughs> and that oh, happened. It only happened once. <laughs> yeah. We fixed Definitely it. Definitely unfounded. Yeah. And then, and then, of course, you know, like... Oh man, there's like four choices. I, I don't want to make a decision. Good thing I don't have to. <laughs> so, after okay. all though, I think it's I think it's pretty cool because it's you know this is this is not something that I've experienced before. Um, with this you know franchise, it's a smaller franchise. Um, so like, it's kind of cool to see something that I had only like heard about and referenced and stuff like that and then also comparing it to what i know actually like happens in chrono cross so fuck off joey i mm -hmm. love basmati i love basmati <laughs> basmati's great basmati's good i'm more i'm I, I i like jasmine rice that's what I stock and I, I buy like Jazz a 10 pound mid. bag of jasmine right now. Jasmine! No! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Okay, all right, all right, folks. Well, on my end, I will actually, hold on, let's do, uh, John, do you have a house update for us? No house update other than the person who was doing the majority of the work actually quit the company that we hired. Oh no! Fun. How are you feeling about that? Uh, they're bringing in the new guy, so we'll see what's going on. Hmm. A lot of confidence there. Mm. I, I have no choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. John yeah. hit that Grammy-o cadence with that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Young Master. Why? Why, Young Master? <laughs> Why, Young Master? <laughs> Lest. Oh. John gave him the, uh, the, the flesh-eating bacteria after he fucked up the closet. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Florida probably has a lot of that. Oh, we do. We do. We have a lot of it. Uh, Joey, how about you? You got anything to plug, my friend? You want to drop it down? Uh, to not, the floor? not a whole lot. Not a not a whole lot of plugging going on. Uh, we hadn't. Uh, if you want to, if you want to hang out, talk about some games and Cerulean Skies. Uh, we're, I guess we're talking about doing like a watch party of Fargo. I think this week. Um, I've never seen out that, there. but I've wanted to. So we'll see Let's if see I don't fall asleep on the couch beforehand. Like I'm like like old boy, you fell asleep mm -hmm. during old boy, bro. I threw also a, listen. I had a couple drinks on the show, and then I put the weighted blanket on, and Shiro yeah, climbed on top of me. It was over. It was over like Nick Cover, and no one but me knows Nick Cover. But I will say that till the day I die. I I, I just want to just one real quick thing um, that'll also cover. Uh, Kelly's saying no. So Kelly and I watched Old Boy twice, and so when we were doing this um, uh, watch party, I was like, "Oh, I'll probably just have the movie on like in the background while I'm doing something else or whatever." And then like, I thought that that meant I thought that was clear that oh, we had watched this movie twice before. <laughs> and then after the movie ends, I made some comment about us having seen it before, and Kelly goes, "What? I've never seen that movie in my life." Young uh -huh. who asked me it was the first time I saw it and I was like, yeah. Right. And then you're like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. I think that I had a frank experience the last two times where oh. I had the weighted blanket on and just passed the fuck out. Cause no, you didn't. You were awake. Single, not a single aspect of that no, movie. Because you were shook by the end. Memory. Like nothing, nothing about it stood out to me. Like yeah. on the rewatch. Like I was like, I, I didn't have a single glimmer of like, huh this feels familiar like that part of my brain ate itself like i have brain damage from old boy and it's oh, like no. documented by the fact yeah, that i don't from remember hammer. it twice it was from the hammer it got I, you i have so much brain damage documented it's called twitch.tv slash super rpg friends yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 uh no that was good and, it's and a conflict also conflict of interest Anyway, uh, this is topical because it's. Oh, I'm trying to plug the watch parties, I guess. Uh, Yahiko watched. We watched Drive My Car before, and Yahiko remembered that movie as Watch My Drive, and I almost threw up. That's like disgusting. He just, he, 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 Put him in the locker. And, yeah, yeah, and you and, and folks, if you like it, you see if you see what you like, join the Cerulean Size Skies Discord. I'll tell you what he thought the movie RRR was called. This movie right there. Uh, join that Discord. I'll tell you. I don't want to. Can you? I, I got. I'll just message you afterwards because I want to know so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't hear the word locker without thinking of Yahiko already. So yeah, I understand. I understand. But yeah, come hang out. Kelly, Kelly's on there too. Uh, we've done. Uh, all of you guys have been on CS content at some point. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're we're fa we're a little family. Uh, Rachel, how about family. yourself? Uh, well, I've been streaming a lot of Final Fantasy 16 lately, so that's that's what I've been doing. Um, not working on any cosplays currently, but kind of planning one now. Yeah, I have right. An idea. So, but um, but yeah, I guess I'll post my link in there. Uh, so anyone who isn't following can. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been yelling about it and making absolutely stupid jokes. I'm having the time of my life. Perfect. It's, it's, it's a great game, guys. It's hysterical. Oh, it's, it's good a good shit. ass video game. I one of my buddies just got to like, in my opinion, the best part of the game. And I love it because they messaged me and they're like, I had to like pause and like get away from the game for a second, Frank, and just I can't believe it. And I'm like, yes. Yes, that's the that's what I like to fucking hear. <laughs> yeah, I I finished it like earlier this week, last week. I don't, or not, not too long ago. Um, and I I already miss Clive and Gav's interactions. I could just listen to them talk to each other forever. Mm -hmm. I know I gotta like, finish the uh, side quest because I want I want to I want to hang out with them more, like in that world. Like he's obviously best boy, Torgal. No questions asked. Of course. None. Zero questions. But oh yeah, my boy, Gav. 
Cab's great. I love him and his little ponytails. Yeah. Two, Are two, there three or four? Two ponytails four. was not four? enough. No, three. I'll have to look at the okay, back hold of the next time I play the game. R Maybe I have to plug one thing. Kelly did a write up, a character write up. There's no spoilers in this no, except the that part was that is literally more. the best thing I've ever read. It was Kelly. so good. I love <laughs> so Kelly's good. character write up. I, it's right I here. I got I had it. So hard when, uh, it, when it, I read it, through it, that. It got 56 likes and it de deserves like seven more zeros after that number. Wait, like okay. it, it's really good. Oh man, I'm just so glad that you liked it. It, makes <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was just just top tier. Spot on. So on my end, you guys know Woodman FLG just about everywhere. Super RPG Friends is my baby, and we have got crazy shit going on at this point. In addition to the Tuesday show, you can catch me Wednesdays at Premium Edition Games. Thursday is going to be the finale of Sweet Coden. Um, and then on Sunday, you can catch Nick Doan. He's doing New Game Plus, where we play uh, modern RPGs. He's doing Final Fantasy 16 right now as well. And then on Mondays, we have Mecha Monday, which is quickly turning into some kind of crazy shit because people love this. Um, we hang out. We do crafts. Uh, we, we generally, most people are building robots, but we've had Erica's built chain mail on stream. John has mm. too. Um, it, it's, it's been, and we do all this while we watch some of the greatest Mecha anime of all time. So definitely come hang out with us. That's basically our watch party night right now. We're doing crazy mecha anime. I love when we watch something so good that no one builds anything because no one can stop watching. It's the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, it's, there's so much cool stuff going on right now and it really makes me so happy that we can do so much stuff all at the same time. So thank you guys. Um, I'll make sure to put the Radical Dreamers playthrough as well as Chrono Cross on the YouTube as well. So we have two things being uploaded. Um, I should do it for Doan. Once he starts a new game, I'll take that and I'll do that as well. But um, here's our link tree. Make sure you guys check out our Discord. All kinds of stuff going on. There's like a million things you could talk about there. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on our socials, all that shit. But um, yeah, we are going to be shooting a raid on over to our boy Roxas. Um, I want to thank everyone who came out, hung out, lurked, everything like that. And then even bigger thanks to all of my lovely people who came here and hung out on with me. Joey, John, Kelly, and Rachel. Thank you guys so much. Y'all fucking are beautiful, amazing people. Thank you guys. Um, and we are going to close. You know the nice thing about Tuesday? Is that when I say we're going to close the show the way that we've closed it every episode since the start, everyone knows what I mean. So we are going to close the show the way that we've closed every show since the start. And that's with an Earthbound reference. And that is with a three, two, one. Fuzzy Pickles, you Fuzzy guys. Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. We'll, we'll see you guys Tuesday for the sweet code and for the sweet code finale. Have a great night, guys.